Cup of Thunder, heroic difficulty. No time to look at the cinematic. Maybe later if I'm successful. But for now, I'm just going to show you the start of this. So you begin with your hero, and over here you try to get yourselves basic war machines. I actually did this time, but I have a save where I got it. And that's a pretty good item as morale. But I'm going to go back on the save just to show you that basically this is exactly what it looks like. So I'm not doing any sneaky jiggery pokery. So this is exactly the same point. A different save though. And he's got endless sack of gold, which I think is also a very good item. Now the ideal situation would be that I get um, straight away attack. That will lead into a fence, um, archery, and the ballistas, as well as get the ballista upgrade. So with that said and done, going to try to crack on with this a little bit. Because uh, it's a brutally difficult map. I'm not even sure whether... Yeah, you can get that. Almost definitely gets... I think the heroes are fixed as well. They always seem to be the same heroes. I don't know if I want to buy both of them, other than just to mass up the centaurs. Or beeline for the wyverns. Because that was a play we were going for, which was just go for the wyverns. If you get the option for tent, you should take it, yes. Because you can res units. So you can kite mobs and try to not to lose anything of value. If you build all the low, lower tier units, they're going to get killed. There's a very important creek camp down here, but it's way too hard to do. You can do it somewhat early. Or at least the bits before it, for experience. Okay, let's pull one goblin over here. Let's do that. So we've got that. That's lovely. You'll probably be holding on to that for a while. So you don't really go over here unless you want to get experience. Speaking of which, I can get this and get the ore and get the wood set up straight away and then come down there and create the camps. You get like a couple of weeks before the computer invades you as well. So that's not too shabby. I think I'm just going to come straight round and aim for the hot spots. The best you can do in terms of gameplay is rush unit buildings. It doesn't matter if you have money to actually buy units since they will be stacking unless weak or play gaps. Then you can reload the save. I don't think you can get past those though, can you? I thought like the weak of whatever is always fixed. So there's two bases here. I don't know if it's worth like beeline into those bases because you've got to spend a lot of time traveling a boat, then go land, and then go over. It's probably worth it, but the computer then tries to attack them, so it becomes stressful trying to hold on to them. Oh, okay. So we didn't get attack. We really want to get attack so I can open up that dialogue. First aid or ballista. You don't really need the manual shot, but we do want... What do you think? First aid or ballista? Probably ballista, right? Unless first aid will stop me dying. When you know the week of the plague is happening, then you can do... All you can do is buy all the units so they don't die. Oh, I see. That's if you've got money to spare, though. Alright. Well, no one's saying anything, so I'm just going to take ballista. Okay. Too late. Should have made your choice. Took too long. So, if I did this... Let's go grab that. I'm going to take the experience almost, just to give him more chance to creep. Do I want leadership though? I don't really. I kind of wanted to go for it last time, but I've got a kind of idea of a build here. I should quickly show you the squail. Basically, war machines attack last stand so the units don't truly die. Although that's not that important. But I was thinking defense. Because you get attacked so much in this map that I honestly think defense would be actually pretty good. Just reducing the damage you take so there's less units lost each time. Yeah, I'm not too hyped on leadership. It can work, obviously, if it's combined with um, retribution. But you have to have like a specific build and all that for it. Mentoring is very good. That's the spare one. So I've got like one spare option here. Luck is okay, but I'm not like super encased on luck, so... Mentoring would be like probably the other better one because you need heroes to defend so they can hold their own. So it's along those lines, basically. I'm, I'm, I feel like defend has done well for me in the past as orc. So I'll just take advanced war machines, keep pushing those. You can't do the dogs, they're way too hard. We've got the ore pit, that's owned by me. Got the experience. You can't do this until you can exploit it. If the terrain is exploitable, that'd be great. 
but I don't know if it is. I can quickly find out if it is, actually, just by having a fight. Oh, I've got to turn the Warcraft free thing off so I can quick save. So, replay. The terrain isn't really exploitable. Kind of? You can... If you get them down to one, you can go back and forth over here. This actually might be doable. Not at the moment. You need to bring them down to like much smaller stacks and have a bunch of goblins to tank. Kill like one, two stacks, and then you just keep going in between that terrain. So that could work if it stays like that, which it should do. The terrain is like the most important thing. <laughs> If the whites down there, which they're really strong whites, um, if the terrain's good there, then that's super good. I don't think I can do this realistically. It's challenging. There's an easy creek camp down here, but nothing else that important. So maybe you just go straight down there. That's what I'm wondering. Do I just go straight down? Maybe I come over here, do this. Because I can't get the whites killed anyway, so anything else down there is kind of pointless. Like you can send her off just to pick up the other bits. So here comes. You're gonna want the blacksmith for the uh, thingamajig marketplace. Could get the resource silo. That's not that important now. Sulfur or it's mercury. Let's get the blacksmith at least. The thing is, if you're going to get the resource silo, you need to go for it like straight away. But I don't know if that's what I'm doing. So I'm not really doing it. And then it makes it kind of less worth the longer I take to decide whether I'm going to do it or not. So those are easy enough to kill. You just got like two little things here that ain't important. So I know this map a little bit because I've played it. Something happens on the fourth month that is beyond ridiculous. Like I was already working my butt off to try to kill and keep under control everything. I spent hours on this map. I've only done it once. And then something happens in that fourth month that was just so drastically unfair, I couldn't believe it. Uh, level nine. We're level six. You can always get Marketplace because it's cheap. Obviously, like you say, it's probably worth getting uh, unit structures just so they can be stacking over time, even if you're not gonna build them. But I will come down here. And I will pick up a ballista. I may as well get the first aid tent. Got to be careful because I'm not going to have money otherwise. So I don't want to overspend. Like it's good to get those just to help creep. But I think I can creep the chemist to the left without them. So I'd, I don't think you can do that yet. That's just not realistically going to be possible. Should be able to kill those. Easy for experience. Easiest way to deal with the death knights and whites. Early without losing too much. Have to... Five stacks of one goblin, one shaman, and centaur. Yeah, but you need to have something that can kill them, right? <laughs> That's not going to kill them. Depends how good the uh, ballista gets. So, I'm going to be so stingy here, I don't even want to lose any goblins. That's a good ballista. Well done. More experience for you, though. More shots, please. Still going. Okay, six six four. Grab that. Grab this. And then get back.
Right. Uh, just keep getting the cheap-ish units, but remember that's n soon. Um, soon. We need the war Wyvern Cliff. We don't need it, need it, but it was part of my plan to sort of not lose anything versus computer, or lose as little as possible because they regenerate health. Oh, this map is stressful. There's a win condition that basically doesn't involve beating the computer, but I want to beat the computer because I'm OCD. So I, I like I did with the OS tier for OS here. There's a way to win this map that doesn't involve really interacting that much with the computer. But I'm going to want to do it. Next turn, you can get the city hall. So how much money are we making? Twelve fifty. So if you buy that, you'll definitely have enough. So I can buy four centaur, seven, five. Ah, Tessic. He'll probably come back, right? He's only got one goblin. We can't even learn the thing. Yeah, there's not much point. It's just paying 3,000 gold for one goblin. And a ballista that I already have. So, can't see it. Don't really need that. But it doesn't move me too much. So I'll just grab it. Rib it. I don't like how this map is a little bit laggy. There's obviously some sort of effects on the map that cause it. It's not as smooth as it could be. And Orange loves to take his time. Oh, he loves it. I could send her, theoretically. I think I've done this last time. I sort of split the units a little bit. So she goes off and takes like those bases, but... You can't build them up anyway. They're going to make like 500 gold a day of that. So I don't think there's that, necess that much need to do it. Ooh, give her the same stuff, basically. I'll try and get Mentor in if I can. But that's not going to be like two ages. 500 gold is still good, but the time that it takes to travel and the split of the units and the loss of units as well... Because she ain't going to be able to do that without losing a bunch of units. I can send her off to sea just to collect the f flotsam and jetsam and jetsam. So there we go. But obviously that can be next turn. Because we wanted 5,000 gold for this mostly. So these guys are going to be like, dude... You gotta go, like, basically do this thing, right? Where you need to rescue the shaman that down it. Again, apologies. You might not get to see all these epic cinematics, but I already spent like five hours on this level beforehand, so I want to make sure that we're actually. I'll show you the start cinematic. Oh, look, the computer's already there. I saw Orange here, so he's getting ready to land. I might not even be able to come out on the boat if he's already there. There's not much point in buying a boat if he's just gonna kill me. That means he's here quite early. Earlier than he normally is, which is obviously not good for me. Meet George Flotsam. <laughs> Skeletons should be easy. There's easy stuff down here. Now, I want... I would... My gosh. If I had this terrain versus the whites, I could kill them. With one goblin. That is insane terrain. Well, maybe not, because they can still reach if you put them there or there, but that's the kind of terrain you're looking for. That's sick terrain, that is. Crazy good.
down for the count. <sighs> okay, very good. Next, absolutely need attack, otherwise my build is going to start slowing down. So it comes down to luck, basically. I, I mean, ideally I'd get attack. I need to secure attack, really. Okay, so first of all, we're just going to save it again. I'm going to find out whether I get killed as soon as I basically do this trick. Because if I do this trick and I get killed, then it's pointless. The new built boat can't be built as long as another boat is blocking the way. Has they landed already? Oh. Oh no, wait. I already built one. I was going to say... So if I get killed here, it's going to be pointless. That's very early for Orange to be here. Very early, see what I mean? I've never been attacked within that... Like, it's not even a week. It's just gone a week now. What on earth is he doing there already? So we obviously can't have that, can we? So I can't really do anything other than just wait in the base now. In Heroes of Might Magic 3, could you get in the boat and they couldn't attack you until they're in the boat as well? Because you can't do that in Heroes of Might Magic 5. There's the big boys. If you kill them, you get like the shaman that behind, and the number of them depends on how long it takes you to do it. But see, Orange didn't land now, so he's going off. He's just always there, but not quite. In Humphrey, you can be attacked in boat from shore. Ah, okay. This is Orcs stronghold. Orc strong. De hacker. Strong. Might need an ore cart, actually. I didn't get an ore cart. Because I'm not going to have unlimited shots, am I? Although, to be fair, the main thing is... Using your hero to kill the whites. Because they're going to be too strong anyway. For your units, really. I'm hoping I get lucky here, but I'm imagining I don't. I might be able to do the death knights, though. I can always buy an ore cart, I suppose, and bring it down with the other hero, since I can't seem to go on the boat. He's getting closer. attack, unfortunately. Makes war machines more effective overall, increases attack and defense of the ballista, increases catapults of damage, and grants it 50% chance to hit. The first aid tent receives increased healing power. Ammo cart gains an ability to increase attack of ranged units in the army by three. Nah, no luck on that. This is going to be one of those ones, again, I had this last time. This always does this on the squeal. It's going to give you all the rubbish stuff. Memory of Blood is good, yes. 
but it's not what we want. We want attack, and it's probably going to do its hardest job to make sure I don't get it. See if they can actually take out one of my dudes here. He can tank it. Okay. Do I buy the ore cart and just bring it on over? Or do I bring in some more centaurs? Probably more centaurs. Because ore cart's expensive. Walls you kind of need versus the computer that attacks. But I found that when I tested this yesterday, the computers don't always attack. Like, they come here, they go outside your base, and then they just run off. So, you can sometimes spend money on something. And I did that the first play run. I made sure to keep getting, like, castle walls and stuff like that for each of my bases, and it got so expensive. But they were never properly attacking, so it's just money that wasn't doing anything. It's not even that expensive to buy that. Don't need to upgrade the centaurs, because i still got other centaurs that aren't part of the same at the moment. Orca is way too expensive. 2250. Can't justify that. The ends justify the memes. Just buy something cheap, and then next turn I can save up for Wyvern Cliff. Well, it might take me a few turns, but. That's what you think, Hardcon. That's what you think. Got to take money into account. Oh, look, Orange is there. He's taking the base. It might be worth letting Orange actually keep the base. Because he can build it up, hopefully. Rather than me spending money on it. And just nick it from time to time. Oh, the music is good. Okay, well. It's time to get wrecked. Probably don't even need those slayers necessarily. You could just have another stack of one goblins. Since you probably want to keep those alive. If you can. You could have like a one stack as well. Of the shaman. I mean, it depends really. Let's have a look at this for now. Let's assume I'd lose everything apart from my centaurs. Oh my gosh, we got lucky. We got lucky. So I don't even need the centaurs necessarily. But the hardest bit here, you kind of need the centaurs to bring their numbers down, but we'll see. Let's see. Free, free. Oh, there's a lot of them there. So what I need to do... I'll only last one turn. Trash. You can add the centaurs in the corner, but they're going to get hit eventually, aren't they? That's the thing that concerns me. If I can get them down to one stack, I don't have to lose anything. Okay, well, let's do a quick test with the centaurs. But, uh... I think they're going to get wrecked. So 
you just keep sticking these guys here. And then the whites can only hit me. Sort of two at a time, I guess. We'll see. Maybe three at a time if I get unlucky. That's a good shot, though. Already can take out almost one. So he's going to block that one at the top. So we don't need to hit him anymore. This one's definitely going to get a hit off. This is exactly what we're looking for, by the way. This should be doable. I might have to beat my head against a brick wall to get it done, but... I think this is the problem with having that. You will lose these two as well. If you have these available. Maybe. Maybe baby. So we only want one goblin to be available to them. Ideally at a time. I'm going to bring their numbers down. I don't want to necessarily kill them because another one just comes in. A one stack can't do too much damage versus the centaurs. A free stack can. Oh boy. Now I've only got one goblin to defend. But this guy now is blocking everyone else. He's legit blocking them all. So that's great. Just stay here. This is perfect. I might lose some centaurs here, but I think it's worth it. Because otherwise what you do is you basically sort of... You get these down to one stack, and then you sort of run in between the gaps. So the one stack chases you back and forth. However, I think... Unless you have a very fast unit, he can probably catch you. Because these can move quite quick as well, as you can see. So it wouldn't work too well. First is... Uh, in this position. Right. Leave you alive, I think. 40 to 40. Probably start hurting you a little bit. First aid tent's going to go. I'm not sure we can save it. Ooh. One more chance, first aid tent. Oh, he's still going to go, though. Unless he comes over to get who hit me, because I'm now available. Ah! Free set? Oh, that is sick. 14 whites down. Well, we take the first aid, because we're still not getting attacked. I'll let you watch this one, because it's looking a bit more optimistic now. Okay, so I'm going to make an important save here. Uh, start of winning level. But in case my plans to sort of beat the computer go so far wrong, I can always come back to this save point. And, I mean, it's really early, though. I might not want to, but... And then just do the actual objective. Because the actual objective is to find the Cup of Thunder. So you find the item, you just finish the level, basically. But obviously, I'd rather try to kill the computer. Only 33 Shaman. It was 56 Shaman when I managed to pick them up. If I if there was like the end of the week, I would have waited one more day. But it's still near the start of the week. You could almost deliberately leave it a week and then pick it up with a secondary hero. But I don't think it's going to matter that much. You probably get like an extra 3-4 Shaman for doing that. Right. I guess... Either I try to build for the Wyverns, which I don't think I necessarily need to do, because I've got the Shaman now. And that's a good stack of units. Although the Wyverns are very nice. I think there's something I might get later on. I'm, I think really just beeline for the... Uh, just just get the, uh, the monies. Once you get the capital, that's much better. An extra 2,000 gold a day. I 
And these will join me as well. Might be worth upgrading those, actually. So that's it for this place, basically. I don't know. Do I need the goblin trappers that much? Not really. How much was it? It's 1,500 gold. That's 1,500 gold that takes me away from my beautiful... I'm getting 2,250 of gold a day. So that'd be 5,000 gold. Then it'd be 7,250. So you're still going to be like one off unless you do a marketplace exchange. Oh, I need level 15. You're right, actually. So I guess... I haven't even got any war cries. Let's do that since we got the goblins. He's doing a good job though. He's uh, getting stuff done over there. There's a gold mine here. If I could grab that early, that would be really, really good. Actually, I can go fight those shaman now. With my main hero. Just double check this. It's a little pedantic thing, but I want to make sure. It did say nothing. You've got the wolves to do on this island as well. I don't have to go over there yet. There's all of this. But the only downside of doing these is that it opens up the computer to land here. Not that they ever did. But I thought they'd never land here because they've got this blocked. But theoretically, you can do that. Get access to some more... Re I'll probably do that. I think I'll finish what I'm doing over here. Call of Blood, Rally and Cry. Okay. And i got no monies. Should be able to kill those without losing a single unit, really. They are fast, though. Oh, I do, actually. I do have some extra bonus units. You're right. Hey, where are you going? Classic Heroes of Might Magic 5 star. It's not quite uh, RTS, no. But it is strategy. Okie dokie, let's... Again, I'm being greedy on the movement points, because I just don't even think I necessarily need that. Let's assume I don't even need that. So I can save. Goblin Witch Doctor tells you that the Cup of Thunder is getting closer. So he tells you, whenever you go onto one of the islands, whether it's going to be a good island or not. Good or bad. Kind of have to get lucky with the traps, in a way. Now one of them's definitely going to slow, slow these ladies down. Have I actually put a trap there? Oh, it's only one there. I wonder if my ballista can kill them all. Not quite, they're still tanky. 
This will be a reload in a moment if she's too successful. Yes, she is. So we're definitely not letting her get away with that. Not a chance. What I will do instead is definitely take that and stack these up. So I can get one massive hit. If we can trap... The bottom one, and then just like one shot the one at the top. He won't be able to reach fast enough anyway. I'll try running and crying instead. I'm actually going to speed up these guys. Only because I kind of... I would love for them... I can, I can redo this and put those in a position. Because she, she probably won't come so far forward if they're at the front. To be fair, the 45 Shaman would be able to kill them as well, I think, in a one-shot. So I don't think I need to worry too much. Should be able to one-shot them with the 45s. Not quite, but... Ah, didn't even lose one. Good. That's what I was looking for. Then we want to stop these, ideally, from reaching. Let's hope they don't come through and get me. Of course they do. Do I just lose two then? They just walk through the traps anyway. What's the bloody point? I know these traps can work. <sighs> I want to try to lose absolutely nothing if I can. It looks like we've hit the first brick wall. I'm going to do this instead then. Trap of the one stacks do nothing. I'm sure I've seen a one trap work before. But I can always split them into two. That absolutely guarantees it going off. Sometimes it's... There you go. One stack. And she stopped. She's got to get lucky, that's all. Yeah, sometimes it's so much easier to fight in Heroes of Might Magic 5 with, like, the minimum amount of units. Like, you can have a whole army in your inventory, but it's just easier, actually, sometimes without them. Because they just get in the way. There's too many units to try to protect. This is going to hurt. If I only lose three. Yeah, I might keep that then. Three's okay. I'm sure I can lose less by just surrounding these with goblins, but... Oh, wait, they resurrect. <laughs> I forgot about that. Okay, well, it's definitely good.
tent's got your back. Right. No attack. But there is defense. The only problem with taking this is it then means the abilities that you get given will also be defense abilities. So, if you see what I mean, if I get attack, then I can only get abilities that are for attack. So it kind of reduces the chance that I get accuracy. What do you think? Or do I take Expert Blood Rage and hope that the next bunch of skills are actually good? Two new skill offers. Yeah, let's take that and take our chances. Let's hope I don't get cucked. Got cucked. Okay. I guess logistics then? This is the hard bit. This is what Heroes of Might Magic 5 does all the time. Is it? It will almost get you sort of in a good spot and then it will just deny you the one thing you're looking for. You can have a build but it will make it as hard as possible to get it. Load and take defense. But then I have to do that fight again. But I suppose I can do that. I should have saved it. I knew I should have saved it. Let's try that. I hate it sometimes. I, I make a move and in my head I know that I should have saved it. Basically taking a chance. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? There's your filthy two stack. Well, the two stack is 66. Got. I suppose it's okay because they always attack the centaur anyway. Doing the same thing. Why? No. Okay, whatever. Two goblins, fine. I thought it was my centaur's turn to go next. Right. Take defense. Well, to be fair, this might not even be what you want anyway. Uh, take defense again. Yeah, I can't know. I don't think I can get... It's not... No. Gosh, this is painful. I think I've got to take the logistics then. Because at least logistics can help me move fast. Did I save? What, before that? Yeah, that was with the two goblins lost at this point. It bugs me. Because I shouldn't have lost those in the first place. I don't know if my goblins got like a morale boost or something, so they skipped ahead. Also, it's behaved differently now. Which is a bit cheeky. So, maybe you are better off having two goblin stacks. At least for this fight. Because I've given myself more, and it's actually not worked properly this time. That's concerning, isn't it?
If I lose goblins, this is going to go on forever. Oh god. Lord have mercy. Yeah, this is all gone wrong now. Bloody hell. Where was I? I'll just do the one stacks. It went fine when I did the one stacks. Since your backseat gaming getting me in trouble. I can res with a tent. Oh, good. Oh, no. This is one of those... One I, have I, I spend more time on this than I have, like, the entirety of the start of the level. I just press stop there. Like, I'm starting to... I'm starting to... Whatever the term is. Fuck. F up. Right, my goodness, let's save this quickly. I don't know, I didn't get logistics this time though. Because uh, I took the expert blood rage and then you get the logistics afterwards. So that's logistics. What if I take the... Top. Tricky. No, never mind. So you can take Might Over Magic, and then there's another chance. I take the might over magic just to give myself the most chance of getting attack, considering the game doesn't want to give it to me.
Right, I'm saving up for capital now. I've got level 15 town, I can't do anything. I'm bankrupt. Oh, yes. Yeeshy mish. You. Can't do anything. Get ready to collect the booty. It'd be good if those would run away from me. Then I can take the stuff over there. And I can sell that artifact for money. Moderate. It is doable. So you're telling me there's a chance. Uh-oh, here comes Orange to spoil my fun. He's a bit of a madman, though, because I'm pretty strong, actually. Because i got the Shaman. When him and Blue used to attack, I didn't have the Shaman. Let's just see what it says when I do this. That's what you're looking for. I'm not sure how it managed to win versus, uh, you know, Crossbowman without losing anything, but... Must have been like a one stack and I got all the first starts. If I kill him, I get a free boat. But then again, the computer. Oof. Taking that right away. Looks like I've been rewarded. I'll probably save it still as the start of winning level. Because so far, everything's gone well. So what we want to get now from attack is archery. And then into the flaming arrows. Flame on. So it's a good early start. How much are they going to kill, though? Because they sometimes flee, so they just, like, kill your units and then flee, and that's annoying. I think you could accept four centaurs. It looks like I got her, right? It's been defeated, so I should probably keep that, because normally they flee. Like, I'm not sure if I can get a much better result. You're going to lose something, because it's a hero. She can attack units. I can res the units... So if you got lucky and the first aid tent came just before you killed all of their units, you could res the centaurs. I'll have a quick check, but I don't... I'm quite happy with that, really. But maybe I can do this. Alright, so who's moving? So you lose five centaurs there. I don't know how many times the first aid tent can res... Like if it's allowed to res a bunch of times. You could in theory take their goblins. How many do you have to kill to get them? Like half the amount at least, don't you? So how much do I res? I think I've lost more centaur than I can res. You need to kill 70%. We'll find out how many centaur died. Seventy percent of twenty-four should be fourteen, fifteen, something like that. I don't think any of my units are going to do like fifteen damage worth there. They're just going to kill them basically. I'll just skip this turn. Kill those. I should have attacked those actually. Oh, good. I get a kill. That's it. That's annoying. Okay, so let's wait. See if I can res again. You rest all the ones you lost, because the tent heals for less than a hundred. Oh, okay. Don't. Ah, see. So the... How many times can you heal with the tent? Shots left, one. Okay, so it gets one more. The hero's going to have another bloody go at my centaurs there, so... And then you lose nine. 
So you kind of need the tent to line up where you get a turn before the hero does. So you can finish off these goblins and get the kill. I don't know if it's going to let me do that though. Because as soon as I heal, she's going to hit my sin. I think he can't do it. She's just going to do it again. So you kind of lose. Yeah. Maybe losing four was better there. <laughs> Although, didn't I do it where I could have actually done it? I just... I can't remember now. Yes, I think so. I could have just finished them. We're just trying to work out how to sort of uh, get the goblins as well. But I think that's a bit overkill. I think that is very much overkill. I'm not okay with losing two centaur goblins. I know how hard this bloody level is, so I want to basically have every advantage I can possibly have. Try slowing the enemy centaurs. Yeah. Down for that. See, that's where they hit me. If I slow you down, I don't know. Maybe that helps. Doesn't really, though, does it? Because she still gets her annoying turn. He's not going to have enough damage to kill these by himself. So I'm always going to be losing these freaking centaur. The way it lines up is so horrible. I got another shot though. After this. I'll just do rally and cry just to give myself as much. i wait on tent. Oh yeah, I could wait on tent. Do defend. Hmm. See, look at that. The heal, and then she gets her turn. It's, yeah, it's horrible, man. We will, we'll try the heal. Wait, but I'm going to lose too many now. We'll try, have to do it again then. But I'll just wait next time. Because I've only got one shot left. And I've already lost nine. She takes nine at a time. Nasty piece of work, this hero. Like they, they, they always seem to line up in the most inconvenient ma manner possible. It's very clever. Very clever. So how many was that? That's five and three, so that's eight. We're still okay. Yeah, maybe I attack the goblins over time. I didn't slow in this time, no. I don't lose enough though, so we're okay. I want to get the shaman out there so I can uh, put them in a position that they can one shot if they need to before the enemy hero gets the one shot. So I'm going to wait. And hopefully that screws her over. Although, how much have I lost? Did I have 53 or something, didn't I? I think I'll just have to take it. Whatever. Close enough. Oh wait, no, that was 52. Quick, save it again. I hate this level. So we got a free boat. That guy's almost definitely not going to land, otherwise he's crazy. I'm gonna try my luck with these. 
when I get a chance. It's a kind of a shame, because if I did that, then I could be picking up all the stuff with her. It's the way the cookie go and crumble. Could get the wyverns. It does set me back, though. But then again, if there's a bunch of gold, then I can get the capital next turn. But I'll probably keep taking experience, to be honest. Even though normally you go gold. There's no gold there. So I guess I sacrifice getting wyverns this turn. Just so I can guarantee... Or you can get a um, marketplace. They might land because you can trick them with free town. Yeah, but they know my heroes are right there, so... Probably not going to do that. Unless they're crazy. You could do this. It's pretty expensive, though. I don't think it's worth it just to get capital for one more day or something. There's one last mission after this, technically. And then there's maybe... There's an extra mission that's in the game files relating to a Stranger Meet His Dragon. And then there's like a custom campaign as well that I haven't worked out whether that works or not or anything, but that's a potential. I've been playing about half an hour on this level, I think. Good. The terrain is still there. Show my two stack of goblins and see if I can get away with it. <laughs> There's no way I do, but just to see. May as well make it one stack, so I only lose one. Well, whatever it is, you're gonna lose. If you lose them, you're de dead anyway. But oh, he's got one stack. Interesting. So you could just actually have a one stack of shaman and slow them down. I do rally and cry to give me a faster movement. Or oh, it's going to be a bit too brutal for my goblins, I think. So he can go here, right? Don't think that's going to be enough. I think you got to go back there. That was a good bit of luck. Hmm, I can't survive it. He can kill me anyway. Ah oh well, may as well do it for the lols. I think you need like a shaman, or you can just still have like loads of one stack goblins and then just the centaurs. That would also be fine. The only reason why I'm not too big a fan of initiative in that is because it's harder to understand, I think, when an enemy is truly slowed or, you know, when they're going to get their turn and things like that. It feels like they still get their turns. I know morale can change that, but it feels like it's really hard to predict in Heroes of Might and Magic 5. A 45 stack of Shaman might be enough to one-shot them, but let's just assume that all I need are the Goblins. Because only losing one stack of goblins is going to do no harm anyway. Like, no one's going to care. Yeah, the old seven stack goblins is also absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. It's one of my favorites, really, is just stacking trash. I wish you could remember which goblins put down which trap, because I bloody can't. You just kind of... Yeah, I moved that one. Could do Blood Rage on these so they can hit harder, but... I think we're okay. Just keep trying to slow the bottom one, maybe. Never mind. Although that did work a little bit.
See, I love these kind of fights because it feels like you can really min-max. The goblins know what they're doing. They know the fight. They understand the reasons. They accept. Don't even lose all the goblins. Free goblins. Ooh, that's what we're talking about. You'd think leadership would be really good for orcs, but you had to do a proper build for it, didn't you? Alright, last one is flaming arrows. Flame on. can sell those trash slippers. But I'll let the other hero take that garbage. It's good that he's got a nice item as well. Got this item earlier. Oh, that's trash. Sacrificial altar. I don't think I'm ever going to use that. I don't think this map really gives you the luxury of using something like that. Do I just keep doing the one stack of goblins? I feel like they're doing better than even having any of this. Kind of. It works against the big mobs, but little mobs like that, I'm not so sure. Hmm. Plus four to attack. It's alright, isn't it? Harder to get experience now. Blue hasn't attacked me yet, which is odd, because normally he attacks roughly about the same time as blue uh, orange does. I would send her off to go pick up Flotsam and Jetsam, but she's still actually useful to have to pass units over so I can get the right army size. He says he's getting farther away, and it got closer when I went to the left, so you think it would be over at the top left or the bottom left, the island. Hungry wolves. Hungry wolves. It's annoying, because I can't get my goblins to move in time. I guess I'll go to the top instead. It always gives you the goblin... The first goblin that gets to move is the one that's basically stuck behind everyone else. I don't know if there's a way to guarantee which one goes first. Like, let's assume that this one's the one that goes first. So he can go... Like, the back ones are always going to want to be... Hang on a second, what are you doing? Here. And then this one can move over to there at the top. This one can move her to there. This one can move her to there. And then this one can do... Well, he's already there. Okay. Which one are you going to move? So it's a different one. So it's not like... Not like you can guarantee it. Guarantee. See, now this one moves, but those two were perfectly fine. It's these ones that need to move, but whatever. So this one can't get there in time. Classic. I don't get it. 
Why do you make it so difficult? <laughs> Let's shoot the next one. Because he can't reach me anyway. Ah, those bloody get in the way. Bad goblins. Very bad. Bad order of goblins. That's a lot of freaking wolves. Holy shit. They're just, like, impossible to do, aren't they? Without losing a ton of units. He is building this base up, I think. That's pretty reasonable. Show me what you got. If I can just get my goblins in front, it wouldn't be so much of an issue. But again, like, why you? Why not this one? He can move further. So he's going to block the ones that want to go here. And it's just a... It's a spiral in a circle. Might just slow those. I don't think slow actually did anything. Let's hope the uh, trap does something then. Or I can just kill them with the ballista. Although these ones get a nice free shot on me, so I should kill those instead. I hope he gets stopped by the trap. Yeah. Druid. Okay, so he can't reach my centaur. He can reach the shaman. I can hit with my shaman there. Wreck their face. Ah. The reckoning is among you. Speak of the devil. But he shall appear. Ballista under hero's command decreases enemy defense by half and deals additional elemental fire damage. Destroy ballista will be restored. There you go. Now we got the dogs done. I mean, this can't go much better. This went a lot better than... Again, that's just the nature of it, isn't it? Like, not many of them, but there are like... There's about five or six levels, I think, in Heroes of Might Magic 5 total that are just like... You really need to have played them once before. And I guess it makes sense. Like, you are playing a heroic difficulty. So it's like some levels, you kind of have a chance to have a go at it again and do it better. But it's frustrating when I'm recording it, and I can spend five hours and then realize that I'm not going to beat it. But that's just like, that's a streamer YouTube problem, that is, really. Okay, so, we got the money coming in. We can afford the Cyclops, so I can just wait for that. So that's good. Cyclopses. Cyclopsi. This is only my second proper attempt. And well, this has gone, like, infinitely better. I didn't even do bad the first time. Join me. You swine. You killed one of my centaur. One of my fingers. Let's see how I do with just the centaur boys, because I can res. Yeah. So... How much do I get to raise? 17? Ah, oh, right. I need to start remembering how much I actually start off with. Do you know what I mean?
52. Okay. So we've got Alchemist. Secured Sulfur. Do these. Should be easy enough. Oh my goodness, Alec. Oh my days. We'll take those out, really. Get the stranger meets his treasure chest. I mean, I'm not actually sure what I'm building exactly now. Maybe enlightenment, so I can start getting... Uh, that's much harder to get, though. Although, to be fair, the only thing that's hard to get is just good luck. When it comes to building a hero. Hmm. Here's orange. He's looking at me. Oh, blue's over here. Took that one. Oh, orange is now here. You're about to get wrecked, son. Although I'm not sure if I can reach your boat, can I? Good. I can reach it in two. So, what do we do? I mean, I've done the whole island now. That's great. Well, what if I went to try to take out one of the computers? I don't know if we can, but if you took out one of the computers, that would save yourself a lot of hassle. I should probably take this thing next, because that's going to be close to being done. And then I can clear up the gold mine. I can probably kill those mobs as well. I move down here. But you're not going to attack it, are you, Narxis? You're not that suicidal. So now you're stuck, aren't you, Narxis? Mistakes were made, Narxis. Choices were made. Bad ones. And now you've got to live with them. I think in some way they have those bait. Oh, you swine! How did you have the movement speed to do that? You could barely move down there. Alright, alright, whatever. Must take a lot more movement speed to get off the uh, shore. Because I thought for a second she might get killed there. So I was going to like try to move her a little bit further back. But then I thought, no, nah, he could barely move over there. So he's not going to be able to do it. One centaur to rule them all, or Cyclops. I'm almost tempted to let the computer have those bases at the top, and then just go down to their main bases below. So you're going to be annoying. Going to get rid of you. Gonna take that, gonna come down. Stranger meet his dragon. See, this is the part where I'm not sure what I'm really planning on doing. Oh, you're right. Thank you for the reminder. Get the basis for slave trade. Yeah.
trash. Trash. I might take these ones. Can't remember the differences enough between them. gets to do more and more damage essentially and this one has the no melee penalty but you don't really want him fighting melee anyway I'm tempted to take this just in case the computer screws me. And sort of takes the ship away from me. But I'm not too far off level 15, I don't think. Do, 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 do. Snappy. Mr. Snaps. I didn't mean to do that, but I guess I've done it now. So, okay. Because um, I was just thinking if I had a stopgap. But I don't have enough money to afford all the units anyway. So I shouldn't have done that. When I say stopgap, I mean like... Basically have my hero in the boat. Have a hero here. Have a hero here. Buy units on the next week. Move to this one. Then move to that one. So I can go in one turn, but... I don't think I've got money for it anyway. He is. No, I'm not there. I'm not doing the hero chain because it's not cost effective. It's not as effective in this because here's my magic free units. He heroes move really far and they cost nothing. In this, they get more expensive. Just doesn't pay. Just like crime. Except for when it does. I didn't move the freaking items this time. I've really got to get that right. Stranger will meet his dragon. Don't even know if I want the four. Isn't that just going to increase like the crappy units? It's not going to increase these by one. Let's find out. It's definitely not going to increase those by one. It's going to be the rubbish units that get increased. Yeah. Plus four? Oh, my eyesight's not so good. Oh! Like, no, you don't even need that. I, well, actually, you do, technically. No, I've got an Alchemist Lab, actually. Maybe I don't even... Well, I mean, I do want it, but... Because it's free money in the long run, but... The base wall adds no creature growth. See? Ah, the computer never landed there before. So that's the annoying thing about opening that up. Is dealing with the computer constantly landing there and taking my stuff. Maybe I should have another hero. 
might take the base on the right now. That's the way it's pushing me. Gonna have to wait, like, till next turn so I can get the units. There's actually no one in that base. But there'll be units there next time I go there. Oh, wait. <laughs> There's someone right there. I changed my mind. Oh. Can't do much uh, looking around, can you? new patch. What am I reacting to? Copy paste the Twitter there. Oh, for old sink. As soon as you make that, it makes its choice. I think he's going to land on it, no matter what I do. Yep. What does it say, though? Yeah, I've seen that. I even reacted to it. So you haven't seen it. First world problems as a streamer. When people ask you if you've seen or done something, but they don't actually check whether you've seen or done something. Okay. Read the Twitter thread and then look down and you'll see my name there. Oh, you missed it, did you? Don't know if she can make that in one. Raw meat, I'm going to tell you once. Look in the... Right, for fuck's sake. There you go. Literally, that's how much research you have to do. Okay. Hmm. Ha ha ha. Yeah, good one. Hmm. I guess I'll leave her some troops so she can actually kill some stuff. She needs to have some forces. Don't want to give her anything good. What if she had like one wyvern or something? So she can always somewhat fight against these trash units that come to her. Or two wyverns. Two wyverns might be a bit too generous. 81 goblins might be enough to deal with. They're, tr they're really trash. I don't need them. 
I don't even want to build the warriors, really. Although they do look like pirates. Just trying to stop Orange from landing on the right-hand side. There we go. I'm being annoying. Unlike someone. Okay, let's go. Oh, it's too expensive to upgrade units at the moment. Just gotta build them in their base glory. She could take the centaurs. Because he doesn't have the upgraded centaurs now. That's the pickle there. I didn't want to do that quite so aggressively, but... There's nothing to react to. Even footprints are more exciting than that. Um, yeah, I can't upgrade those centaurs. I just have to. That triggers my OCD not being able to do that. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Can I land? Yes. Tells you that the cup is getting closer. I've got three uh, so a month to so two months. You got like two months left, basically, until shite really goes down. I think I'll just get the resource island now, so I'm getting free resources because I bought the units. Squish. There's another chap that's coming over that's stronger than I am. I can take the base at least and then have to... This just... this map is so frustrating. Oh, water maps. If, hopefully he can't land in that next turn. Because I've got to go here, get back in the boat and then come over here and chase him. Obviously, I'm here. I'll just take that. So I want to like creep all of this stuff. But he's going to force me back already. So I don't really get to sort of hang around. Hey, it's definitely worth letting them take the base. This base normally starts off with about that much. Those first two. I think. Well, yeah, you kind of do need more than one hero. True. I do like to really front load one hero. Can you give me enlightenment then, please, Dragon Dennis? So I can... Uh I mean, I did buy... Oh, do you remember, actually, in my first try through on this map, I did buy quite a few heroes, but they would keep getting killed because the computer's too strong. And you get to a point in this map where you can't buy heroes anymore. It only gives you so many heroes. So then I was, like, out of heroes. I literally didn't even have any more. Right, let's try to do these, if I can. So the computer's been scared off on that side. I'm coming back. Orange is going to try to land here. Oh wait, that's not good. I guess that's not good at all. I swear the computer must be programmed to do that. 
it just suddenly like beelines with its strongest heroes to the main island the moment my main hero leaves it. Like the split second I walk away is suddenly like I know where I need to be. It's a little bit sus, to be honest. I'm not gonna lie. It's a lot of sus. Wow. <laughs> That's quite a lot. Footman's got a lot of ground covered. Sassy footman. Let's hope this footman gets slowed down by the trap. I mean, he should do, because there's a lot of goblins behind it. I think powerful play is actually better, at least at the start. I'll just start whittling these down. But I'll use my blister on those. Because two shots from the blisters and those will be more or less useless. Shouldn't have moved, blocked those in. It's game over. I don't know what I'm doing about these cheeky chaps. The shamans had like three turns. Let's see if I can escape from that 97 stack. Might be able to get away with it. 
That looks good so far. Even if you kill that, it comes back stronger. Sweet! This could all be for naught, though. Because the computer's going to come and take all my stuff. Right! Where do I go from here? Still no enlightenment. That really sucks. There is a memory mentor, though. But obviously that's expensive. It's on this island. It's at the bottom left. Tactics over Battle Frenzy. Battle Frenzy is good for goblins, but tactics gives you that bit more flexibility of unit positioning. And battle Shout's not too bad, but if I took Battle Shout, I can't take Enlightenment, so I'm going to go Tactics, I think. good I get to like farm these mobs that normally you can't kill when you come onto the island I might just do that Nice. I'm already exhausted. And I'm, this level's still got a long way to go. I guess I'll take logistics. Ah, oh, there's your plus one damage. Do I have enough movement? Let's get onto the boat. That's a lot of lovely resources. Question is, is what is going to happen here? Something bad. I can start building up the fort and try to hide behind it. But if I do that, I don't know if that's worth it. I think it might be better just letting them take the base. Although you lose the capital, that's the downside of that. But if I build up the fort, then I've got to fight against the fort if they take the base. All I can do is build these. Which might be enough behind the fort if I get lucky. But I need money. Money's. 7,000 gold a day is actually good money's. So that should be enough. Oh! That's actually better. I can actually just attack him. I didn't foresee that, even though I should have been able to. So that saves me the trouble of dealing with him. Gets him off my back. 
Could you just get up off my back for a moment, please? I'm so stressed out on this level. I feel like the other levels I could enjoy a bit more. Sometimes you enjoy them too easily, sort of like they're too easy. You're trying to get the balance right, but this is one of those ones that I f I'm just constantly threatened by. Like, I feel like no matter what I do in this map, I can still easily lose it, because I know what happens now. And it's very bad what happens. So even if you play, like, near perfect for so long, you still just end up getting freaking destroyed. Centaur's always getting a hard time. You can't beat this level, it's impossible. It's impossible. This level was not designed to be beaten by mere mortals. I lost one Slayer. I would be upset, except they seem to suck, so... It's a Slayer I didn't have to lose, though, to be fair. See, that's annoying when the computer does this, because then it makes you want to keep doing the fight, so you put it in a position so you lose the least amount by the time he flees. I feel like if you were to balance it even further, like, you could have an immediate flee, I suppose, but then that doesn't solve the problem. But almost like the computer needs a turn to flee or something like that. There's, like, a delay. They need to wait one more hero turn before they can truly flee. I think that's just to deal with the annoyance of them just instantly getting out. Get out of jail card free. <gasps> Eno me! Oh my days. All I need is a super strong tanky unit actually. He'd be less likely to flee as well. And then I can just resurrect the Cyclops. Why haven't I started doing this? Thank you very much there for the Cyrops, you know me. The community keeping me alive. Oh. I'll just do Call of Blood so he's harder to kill. Boom. 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 I don't have to use my heal there, but I want to make sure he stays two stacks for now. Until they get less units. Oh, the flappy boys. No. Shame they didn't get, like, rage when they retaliate. That's probably to balance them, because they're already quite strong. Ooh. Hang in there, fella. I got your back. Those are probably going to do the most damage next. I kind of have to heal. It only heals 100, though, doesn't it? So it's not a massive amount. So I might still end up losing a Cyclops after all this, so it's probably not going to work. Because obviously you don't really want to lose a Cyclops, do you? Let's face it. That sucks. If I could just make it so I don't... Like, you need to really tank him. He only gets one more heal. That's it. So he's got to, like, be able to withstand... Oh! Now that's a better result. That's what you do first as a computer when they try to flee all the time. Is you just fight them with less units because then they take longer to flee. Sometimes they don't even flee. Um, I'm going to save that because that's a save before. So right, that's all established. you got Annoying Blue who's got like not really a massive army. But probably too strong for her to take at the moment. Even if she did buy some units. So I think... It's time to start buying as many units as well as possible. Try to stack up as much as possible. Yeah, Blue's gone back in the boat now. 
But, but Orange has come out. He doesn't care. If the computer wasn't able to summon the vessels and take them away, you could sort of block these off. Which would be nice. Looks like the computer hasn't done this section. I thought he might have done, actually. There's some stuff to creep here, and the memory mentor. I still feel like I'm going to lose this level. I never feel like I'm safe on this level. See, if blue just comes over to here, that's going to be annoying, isn't it? That'll be enough to handle him, though. Barely. She's a stronger hero, though. She's one of the main ones. You can kill her, but she'll keep coming back. Just fleed. And I don't have the vessel. Hmm. Do I let computer keep this one? Might let them keep it for a little bit longer. They might want to build it up a little bit more. I can easily go over and take it, but... It's hard to keep all bases. I might let them keep one. Like I say, I think blue's base is here and orange is here, or vice versa. And I have no idea if you're strong enough to be able to kill them, like, early on or not. But if you are, then... It certainly would be worth trying. Although, of course, we've got this over here. You like the slave trade, don't you? For some reason. I don't know why. Slave market. Oh, you only need one. Well, that's good enough then. Might get the resource silo and be greedy. Because then that's free resources. Free real estate. Ah, he's starting to turn up with Titans now. It makes it so hard to leave your base. You're constantly on the defensive, and then they just kill you anyway. Like, I just don't get this map. It feels so stacked against you. You can't imagine, like, I had such a good start, and it still feels like I'm just losing. I'm going to go for their bases. I say, I say screw it. I need to work out where their bases are and go for them. And then I can just buy everything and then sell it at the slave market and then buy units at their bases. If they want to play that game, we can play that game. I don't even think I can defend versus that. Now I see Titans. You're not going to defend against that, really. Oh, we can play that game, all right. Yeah. Maybe. Too late. I don't know. You could try the fort and hide behind it. But you still need to afford units. Wait, was that a week of the plague? Creatures in all dwellings die. Ugh. So it's one of those as well. Wrong. Maybe I go back then. My PC is okay. It's alright. It's okay.
I like the Wyverns. Shame I can't afford them all. Not great a person. Not great. Hmm. Well, that's all that rubbish built. Whatever that does for me. Orange is coming round. I can take him. I can beat him up. So you get no units. Trash heroes. Oh, Blue's going to have a go as well. What a cheeky scamp. Who does? How do I perceive my audience as scum? Oh, I already have a hero. My bad. I don't know why. I forgot about her. Get the ore cart as well. Precious ore cart. Oh, this map. This map. This map. This map. This map. This map. I'm not even like... I feel like I might just have to subside and just do the mission, which is to get the cup. Although I don't even know which one's the real one. Don't tell me. But, uh... It just stresses me out so much playing this map. I feel like I'm having to babysit every single movement and it still was like just gonna be for nothing. Oh, those bloody centaur need to be upgraded over and over. Please make it to the boat. He's got lovely stats, though, from those items. Shit. There we go. Yeah, Mandatum. What race am I playing? I'm playing the Oryx. A stronghold. The hold of strength. Oh, gosh. I should have saved it before. Why didn't I save it? Why didn't I save it? Don't even have any shooters. Why didn't I say it? Well, she hasn't leveled up much, thankfully. So it keeps her somewhat weak. I'll have to do that again. I don't know. Can I even make a difference? I couldn't build anything, could I? And I just built the wall thing, so I'm not even sure I can make a difference other than split the units up, maybe. Don't kill my centaur. That was a mistake. Oh. oh no, I get one shot. One shot, one kill. Huzzah, still alive. Snappy boys, snappy boys, snappy boys, oh snappy boys. Oh 
don't like those goblins, do they? I'm tempt I'll put the wyverns out there so they can hit them a few times and then I can regenerate. I don't know the wyverns can take that many hits, though. 88 hitting them, I don't know. But the griffins might hit them. But I don't retaliate to griffins, that's the only problem, so... These might walk over by the time I come over. Oh, wait, you do? So they're not upgraded or something? I thought they don't retaliate. Or oh, maybe it's... I'm getting them mixed up. That's, cut, that's fine. Because I need the wyverns to start doing some work, basically. Because if I can keep those alive, then I can keep flapping around and maybe win this. But I won't be able to stick around long. Oh, that's kind of good. Because these guys are coming anyway. Make your choice. Damn. How do I even engage? They got a uh, four, so one, two, three, four. I think they can still hit me if I go there. Supposedly not. But I don't trust it. It's like one, two, three, four. And if I'm here, they should be able to reach on that corner spot. At least the wyverns can wait, and they don't lose finger magic. Blood must. The peasants are coming. You might notice that the music is Haven. It's because I changed it. Because uh, the orc stronghold siege is copyrighted. So we don't want that. Copyright to high hecaroo. Might get the goblins on my side. I get I get to keep one more goblin. I could profit from this battle actually. I think I might get away with this if I can whittle down the peasant numbers because those aren't a problem. And the hero isn't strong enough to kill my wyverns. Just need to keep things split. Oh. Killed the traitorous, uh, traitorous goblins. This is very good if I can do this. Two at a time, though, because I can't really engage with the wyverns, because I might lose too much. How much damage did she do? She did 28 and I regenerate 46. Very good. Oh, there's still one here. I didn't even notice you. Oh. Should have picked that off and then... Uh, never mind. A free hit with Wyvern, true. Guards! Stranger meet his wyvern. He's trying to box me in, actually. It's like a chess move. Because anywhere I go... Although I get two turns, so screw this guy. I'm coming here. I'm hitting you. And I'm going over to the top. See you later. I knew these wyverns would come in handy at some point. He keeps chest moving me. Checkmate. Why does he checkmate me so much? Four. 
finally, freedom. If I can get him down to 50, I'll feel more confident attacking. Because I don't want him to sort of retaliate, do loads of damage, and then attack, and then kill me. Do you see what I mean? I've got powerful blow to put on the Wyverns as well. Might be able to attack him now. Let's try and hope I didn't go wrong. Ooh, they did do quite a lot of damage. Okay. Well, at least we got the numbers down. And then we can just kite again. Screw him. Let's go in for another bite. My god, how are you still doing that much damage? Crazy. And they got Bash. Oh, they are really pushing this. Two hit points. Are you kidding me? Not enough, Missy. Not enough. How do you flee from... What? How does she do that? You can't flee, can you? When you've openly assaulted an enemy castle? I don't know. Maybe you can. Why have I lost one wyvern? She didn't let me regenerate it back. That was her... That was her revenge. Wait, hang on a second. Am I in the boat so I can't attack him? Oh, I can. I can reach him from the boat. Enemy has been defeated. So I didn't even flee. That's not a bad result. I don't like losing two wyverns, don't get me wrong, but you look how much I killed there. I don't think I'm going to get a better result. We can try, but I don't think I will. That's not bad. That is not bad. I have got a lot of units, though. It's looking really good. I think I could take their bases. I mean, I have no idea whether I can or not. I can I can have this as a save point to fall back on, I think. Where I just go for the Cup of Thunder if I lose. Because at least I've got that as an option now. I didn't have that as an option before because I didn't know the map. So worst case scenario, I can come back to this and just go finish the level. If I can't kill the computer, but... Kill. Oh, is the Ballista probably making all of that difference? Ballista's super good. I think you should try. They didn't get any units for the cost of the plague. Oh, yeah. Why not? Why not give it a go? I underestimate myself, actually. I'm stronger than I thought I was. I better heal on cooldown because he might just flee at any point. I'm gonna get ready to move out. Try to kill as much as I can, actually. Being a little bit greedy with those wyverns. He's going to flee, surely. He hasn't done it yet. That's good. What do I... How many... You normally heal 49 hit points. That won't be enough to heal him. Will it? If he got 50, he'd be on 97. 
so it should be. Unless the heal was random. Take a slight gamble and get three centaurs back. Oh, you swan! It didn't do it, which means you might be able to flee. Shit. It's RNG. I, I don't want him to flee. I don't want to kill him though, I want to get greedy. I'll just redo it if it doesn't work. I think we've still got a chance. Thing is, I'm going to lose the free centaurs anyway. But he will heal, actually. So no, 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 no. We're okay, actually. Hit the centaurs. Heal the centaurs. Wyvern should definitely heal up the last stack. And then, hey, presto. Lose nothing. Probably take navigation. If I'm going to go towards the computer, so that's actually kind of a favor. And I'm already on a boat. Right, I'm going to do this as a save, so... Cup of Thunder... What's the same? Winning level 2. There's a base down here, there's a base down here. So basically just... I don't know exactly where the bases are, because I never got a chance to truly... find out. But they're obviously at the bottom. She'll probably get attacked by another player in a moment. Look at that. This guy's got freaking Storm Titans. I'm not sure I can slow him down long enough. I need more time. It could almost be worth sacrificing a hero in a boat. So he doesn't land early enough. And I can get some units in my base. I don't know. I don't know. Actually, he's going left, so that actually... I think I get him enough time if he goes left. Not sure. He's actually heading towards me. I can go kill him. If I kill him, then... <laughs> what units can you possibly have after I've killed two people that... Ah, he just fleed. After I killed two people with Titans. Alright, we need a save here. So I'm just going to use a bunch of turns just to sort of cheat scout the map. This is a cheat. But just so I'm heading in the right direction. I mean, it looks like they're coming from there, obviously. But I just want to see if this is all crappy island stuff. Or if there's a base. It looks like crappy island stuff. There's actually a hero here. Could be worth taking the time to go for him, but I don't know. You're better off just really going for their base. Because I think if I can take their bases early on, that would be insanely good and useful for um, dealing with month four. So I think I'm going to go for the base. Oh good, they fled from battle, did they? If they're going to do that, then why don't I just use a wyvern? Hmm. Going to flee from battle now, are you? Huh? Yeah, but now you don't get to kill anything. Man, Wyverns are actually, uh, they're proven to be a bit better, because normally I give them a hard time. It's certainly coming in handy for me. This looks like it could be like a main, like, he's coming from a boat, there's a shipyard here. Computer doesn't always creep everything, and dragon by the way. But it looks a bigger landmass. It's doing that thing though where I can't quite reach. Man, I don't think anyone likes island maps, do they? They're just frustrating. Oh, hello. Elaine, you have almost no units. I'm doing really well this time compared to the last time. I mean, the last time I did well with what I was dealing with. You'll be surprised. I actually put up a lot of good fights. I tried to lose almost nothing in almost all circumstances, taking out so many units. But the computer just 
kept coming and they kept coming with angels and titans and you kill a bunch of titans and next week they'll have another four, six, whatever it was. It's just like, how, how are you doing that? Oh, I wonder if that's worth buying. Not that they have any particularly massively strong heroes. Stranger meat dragons? Always. I don't need spell power. What does spell power do for me? I can't remember what it does for orcs. Probably not. The chances of getting a dragon item. I mean, I, I love the dragon item. If I could get the dragon item, that'd be great. I feel like I want this, though, more. I can come back for those. This just stops them from freaking fleeing all the time. Which is far more annoying. Damn, when you can kill 50 majors and not lose anything. That's the ballista, man. That ballista. It's still useful. This is like mid-game now at this point, and it's still useful. I get plus one to all stats, but I lose four to attack. And that's just, again, hero spell power. That's, I don't know. Plus one to all stats, though, is pretty much worth it, I think. Well, we got very lucky this run in the build for the Ballista. The attack bit took a bit long, but technically it still came through pretty reasonable. Like, full-on war machines, first aid, Ballista, flaming arrows, all that business. Oh, triple Ballista, and then... I've got like all the abilities that sort of really suit this level. I can see an orange base now. We're in the right spot. If I take this base, wow, this is massive. I actually feel like I can do this level now. I no longer, for the last hour or so, however long I've been playing this, the doom and gloom. I don't know whether to actually upgrade any units. I like the wyverns, the base wyverns, because they just naturally regenerate. I think the peokai can only regenerate from corpses. I, don't, I think they might have a natural regeneration, but it might be weaker. I don't know. Cyclops are like the only ones I would probably upgrade. Shaman? True. you got a lot of them. Could be worth upgrading Shaman just because of that. These ones do more damage. But I, I don't know these ones very well. I think they do like debuffs, don't they? These ones are like haste and slow, I think. But how much is the health regen of the green wyvern in comparison to the base wyvern? I'm going to try those ones because I'm not so familiar with them. This is sick. Oh my god. It's still costing me though. Should have saved it before I attacked. I'm really bad at saving it. Not less. You sure about that? You sure about that? Oh, chain lightning. So you got to sacrifice goblins to get access. Oh, the chain lightning. Wow. So hang on a second. 
that sacrifices neighbor goblins to gain mana, increases attack, defense, and morale by one point until the end of combat for every obliteration of the tail. It's limited by five points. The amount of gained mana is equal to twice the hit points of the sacrifice. Let's just use it and see what I get. I got 12 at the moment. I won't know until next turn. Oh, thank you, mages. Appreciate that. Thanks for popping in. One. I think I'm going to get away with this and not lose too much either. It's the centaur that get the beating, but if I can keep healing them before it's over. Should be able to heal that one back. I'm just going to wait here and let them attack. They might come through the door. Mage, stop being annoying. Could just charge in. A bit aggressive. Cyclops can attack the gate. He has to do it from the front, I suppose. Because all of these will do massive damage. Right. She's got 26 mana now, but Chain Lightning is a little bit redundant because it's going to hit my own unit. Those are like, don't even take damage from spells. So kind of, oh well, at least we know. So she went from 12 mana to 26, so she got 20, 14 mana from that. The Green Wyvern upgrade has the same health regeneration as the original one. 30 to 50 health. Alright, well then, I guess it's worth getting the green one then. Go, go, Wyverns. You can do it. I'm actually going to pull them back so they can heal. It's taking a bit longer. I'm worried he's going to walk into the trap if I do that, so I'm not going to risk it. Because he's a dumbass. So he'll almost definitely walk into the trap. I've lost quite a lot of wyverns here. No, uh, not wyverns, centaurs. I mean, this has gone so well, this level. Like, like... 46. I don't know. I'm not too happy with that. I don't know. Uh, I guess... Just keep it. Whatever. It's done. You can move on with your life. There's Telsic. Oh my goodness, boots. I don't... Okay. Wow, whoa, whoa, you are way, whoa, 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 it's a full base. Holy smack. Well, that'll help, won't it? That'll help defend against the computer. Yeah, this is looking goosh. Those ones can repair. I wonder if that goes to blue space. I haven't actually taken this yet. 
Blue's like, oh no, please don't go through that portal. Please. Yeah, no, I've got the computer. This is actually really different. For the most part. Compared to my first playthrough. It's a lot better, that's for sure. My first playthrough had me basically... It was just like spinning plates. Constantly had me dancing back and forth, trying to keep all the plates spinning. Because it was attacking me over here, it was attacking me over here, there was a boat coming from over there, you had to go here to get to there, you had to roll around, you had to bring the units in to defend, you split the units on another hero, use that hero to defend the base over there whilst you're getting attacked on this one, and that's the stronger one, so you need your main hero there. Ugh. It was a real chur. So, all you have to do is get off to the perfect start. Basically. And then the level becomes much better. That's all you have to do. If you don't get up to the perfect start, this level is very, very different. I'll just take these for the experience. I'm glad I took those experience chests as well. Because I'm still good for gold. My hero's like level 18 now. So yeah, like Blue's got this base over here. I don't even care. It's your base, mate. Enjoy it. I, I had to put so much effort trying to keep my bases alive and then like share the resources just enough so I could get the fort and the citadel just before the computer's about to hit them. And Ugh. I don't think I have it anymore, but it would almost be worth showing it just because of how painful it was. I just got to the point where I just realized I just could not beat the level. I just couldn't be done. I mean, especially from month four. Again, you'll see what I mean, but as soon as that happened, that was like... I thought I might still stand a chance until that happened. Angry Cyclops. Gonna lose that rage. I'm gonna gamble that the goblins are gonna do a good job of stopping this guy. The goblins will not let me down. Okay, it wasn't too bad. Still a bit scary. You can't haste ballistic, can you? Is there a particular race that's like the best with ballista? Demons. Oh, because of fiery fire. Yeah. Humans and demons. All right, cool. No, so many lost. That was completely uncalled for. To be fair, it's just goblins. else can attach, like, that arrow to Ballista. I've never tried it. It seemed kind of clunky. But... Sandals. Can't really use those because I'm using the Dragon Stranger meat. May as well take Pathfinding. Although we have got roads here, but...
Not always. I've actually got the luxury of sort of building up my bases a bit more and really concentrating on getting some higher tier units, you know. She's crazy, look. This is how the computer's programmed, right? To attack you all the time. Except because I've got off to such a good start, the computer's kind of bugged in a way, where it's forced, it's programmed, like the AI is triggered to attack you. But normally it has a lot more because the level doesn't go this well. But she's just attacking with tr trash. So she doesn't know that. She's just an AI. So <laughs> she doesn't realize. So there you go. It's getting absolutely trounced. Let's get greedy. Whatever. Make it happen. Make it so. I even had a Ballista Specialist plus one attack to Ballista per level. Ooh. I'll have to try that out at some point, maybe. Well, maybe too late, but... Okay, so that's all of this. No, it's not. I think Orange only has one base and Blue only has one base. They have, like, one base, but it's, like, fully upgraded or very close to fully upgraded from the start. That's why it doesn't take too long until they start hitting you with Titans and stuff. But the computer's got a little bit flustered. A little bit wrecked. Because of the ballista. I owe it all to the ballista. I can split the hero now. Oi! Excuse me? Oh, he took the base back. Does he get to keep the units? What? How many movement points have you got? Did he really just do that? I'm not letting you get away with that. It literally just comes out of thin air. Takes all of that and then goes back. What? Exactly. What is that movement? You're not getting away with that, buddy. You're going to have to deal with Tessic. Oops. Well, doesn't matter. Those have got sabotage. I've got nothing to repair at the moment, so... Computer probably won't turn up this time. I wasted so many moving points just going over there, and that's with pathfinding. Map looks quite good actually. Yellow, 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 yellow. You might have two bases. Oh, they do actually. I was wrong. See, I don't know. They actually do have two bases. Well, that explained how they managed to build quite so much because I was going to say they used to hit you with like six Titans sometimes. It's like, well, you can't even get like two to three Titans per week sometimes. Not sure if I can get much better out of this. Maybe Wyvern only. What do you think? Wyvern and Ballista only. It actually might work. No kidding. Go on, lad. You can do it. 
Oh. He's got 54 mana. a heal now. Mages are more of a threat, but I don't want to waste attacks. Right, those are going to hit the mages next, so I may as well chip away on these. Yeah, wyverns aren't quite enough. Okay. So I'll have Wyverns and something else, and that'll be enough. That'll be fine. To be fair, I don't have to be this pedantic. I can just go attack and lose whatever I'm going to lose. It really doesn't matter that much. I've still got like a month and a week until like the computer turns up with all of its forces. Let's just do it for the sake of speed and time. That's orange gone, man. It's crazy, isn't it? If I defeat Blue, though, will he turn up? Dark magic. You can't do that. No dragon. Stranger meat dragon, no. I haven't actually got to build too many cool item sets, actually, unfortunately, in these scenarios. That's not bad. Probably is better than that. For now. Definitely the fleet decides to not show up as you defeat the scouts. Right. You call them scouts. The people with these massive bases and all of that. They're just scouts. Just scouts, that's all they are. They're nothing to you. I'm selling the best gear. Like what? What was I selling? The dwarf set? The knowledge thing? How's that the best gear? Oh, holly. Make what go away? The pain. Will this make it go away? We might do. I'm not sure that's how it works though. I think I'll just leave all of these units and keep them in this base and only use my orc armies to fight versus blue etc oh look it's got angels now you actually built some units properly oh i lost all my wyverns feels sad uh oh i've got to get the boots of sped as well and give those over So he can enjoy playing around with the boots of spared. Not much point leveling up the mage, is there? Unless you're going to get... No, you can only get orc heroes. I'm coming up, so you better get this party started. It's looking good. I like it. I like it a lot. If you really wanted to, you could go to here, get Memory Mentor, and try to get yourself... Uh, yeah, get Memory... Get Enlightenment and Memory Mentor with the gold. And then go and talk to your heroes. I don't think I want them. Stranger Dragon. I 
What do you mean not enough wood? Let's go. Another whimsical adventure. I can probably catch up on you as well. Because of navigation. Oh, this is nice. Getting these built up bases. I like that. Nothing fulfills my OCD much more than... Uh, he, he's not even moving. He's just giving up. <laughs> Here's a Might and Magic uh, base building, and then completing it. I'm going to assume that I probably don't need to get reinforcements from my main base to go take Blue on. Because you got to remember that Blue spawns, buys the units that it has, and then comes to attack me. So it can only have so many. And then we can go around taking a look at everything. And then perhaps it'll be Morbin time after that. If yellow is here, perhaps blue is here and here. So I'm going to take that gamble. Can you change the enemy base to orc bases? I don't know. Then I don't know that. You can't sell the academy units, though, without getting them from the academy and then taking them over to the orcs, right? So it's, like, tedious having to, like, transfer them all over. Oh, I just made it up. Morbin time. I just felt like I'm going to start saying it. It's going to be my thing. No one else has thought of it. I assume this is where Blue is, but there's like a boat over here. But I don't think he's living there. Oh, actually, no, this isn't where Blue is. Maybe it is here. Oh, He's got my wyverns! Wait, hang on, there's a stronghold base here. Wait, what? I didn't even know that. What's a strong... Wait, when did he have a stronghold base? So this is like a bonus base then, maybe. Oh man, I didn't even know that. This map has a lot in it, and you don't always get a chance to see it, because you have to get off to a perfect start, and then the level's... ...you know, tolerable, if not a little easy now. Or it's incredibly so difficult that you are just basically constantly restrained to your own top area here because the computer keeps hitting you with multiple two double bases that are fully built and human forces. So I'm assuming they didn't test this map very much. I think it's probably just worth whatever. Just losing whatever. I'll take scouting. Ooh, look at that. Would you take a look at that? Ooh. That's a lot of a lot of goosh stuff. The only things available is goblins, though. Morale and luck of all creatures for Haven, Sylvan and Fortress and Academy is load. Oh, that's good for me, though. Am I level 20 yet? Oh, I can get Town Portal. But that's not going to be that good. But I'll take it anyway. How much gold? I'm getting like 14... Thousand gold. Done. In the bag, in the pipe, five by five. Makes me wonder if these would join me. And then there's that as well. Alright, well, I guess I'll just... I mean, that's challenging. I don't think they're going to join. Nah, that would be too easy. Because if, if I did this level again, I would just go straight to that island. 
If they did, if they were like a guaranteed join, <laughs> just go straight to that island and pick everything up. So that's not going to happen. I might still save that for later. There's an underground bit. It must be a small underground bit. You still got like the prison hero that's over here. Might be worth rescuing the prison hero actually. See what they've got. There goes all your money. Beep. Beep. War Academy. Hi, Unicorn. Hello there. Alessadil. Thank you very much there for the sub. Any more dragons? That's not a dragon. That's the filthy dwarf. I can kill those for relative ease. I'm enjoying this level now that I'm not stressing about it all the time. I got the enlightenment. I'll just keep these on, it's just easier than like taking them off at the uh, start of your turn every level. Because that's the thing, you can min-max that, but that's just tedious. That's like the tedious min-max. I know I don't need that slave market, but I'm just trying to build everything now because I can. Yeah, back again with those angels. Challenging for her. Although she's got a lot. I wouldn't have thought it'd be that hard. Not impossible. She's, uh, she's not very confident in herself. This music's so good, this orc music. Just as I say that, it kind of goes. I think I'll take the luck. I have no choice. So it's not going to be enlightenment unless I just take get rid of it. I'll just take the luck. With leadership, you kind of need to build... For like the units and make those strong and buff off morality but I still got my ballista kicking ass so maybe my ballista can get some luck I think the ballista can get luck oh excuse me that's different so I guess the AI can be programmed to attack anything not just your main base are you sure about that you sure that's what you want to do? I'm not sure that's what you want. I'll let you come in first. I think next month is coming up. So new artifacts. More chances for dragons and strangers. There's actually a lot of these. Look at that. There's the Skull of Markel. May as well buy that. I'll afford I'll buy it next turn. No, I thought there's another prison for a moment over there. Be lazy and assume she's not going to screw up too much. 
What if I just do Ballista Bill for everyone? You get a Ballista. And you... Does she even have a Ballista? I don't even have one. It's because I didn't put one on her. It wasn't important enough at the time. Why are you showing me that? What's so special about this? Level 20. And he likes the wyverns. Oh, they get plus to hit points. Oh, he's got some interesting abilities. Not much in the way of units, but you know. It's a living. She actually can't kill this stuff. <laughs> so I can't really fully explore that island. I could take it from her. But I don't know. That'll still be enough. Save me the trouble of having to come back. Moderate. That looks better. Maybe if I do that. Okay, it's not too bad. What we got? Oh, good. Plenty of spoils. Oh, loads of spoils, my goodness. It's your boy. Okay, making progress. Uh, well, losing half the army. Uh, you know, at this point, it's okay. As long as he's got enough to get the uh, job done and clear out the area, then he can pick up the rewards and then basically go AFK. Oh, that's right. I didn't deal with you, did I? Okay. I'm being punished. I don't think I can be bothered to go back on that either. It would save me some hassle and time, but... It's okay. It's all part of the plan. I'll maybe send him off to go do it. Since he seems to be the man. Oh, you're just going to leave that base, I guess. There you go. There's the goodies. Dragon? I'm getting closer. That's the only thing that makes me paranoid about the computer actually taking that base more than anything. Is that he might have bought a dragon item from there. That would upset me. So many bears. Sure.
can sell the bears. That's true. You guys have been obsessed with this, so let's just get rid of the bears. Your obsession is now complete. He's coming back. I'll go punish him in a moment. So either this guy punishes him or most likely Telsic. No dragon, no dragon, no dragon, no dragon, no dragon, no dragon. No dragon. wonder if you can take her. Challenging. Well, it is a victory, so I'll just take it. And then that's high. we still got a way to go, though, sort of cleaning this all up. How are you supposed to sell? You've got to take them all over to the stronghold bases. It's just, like I say, it's, it's too much work. You could sell some orcs, that's true. You can't be selling academy units, but orcs, you could sell orcs. Academy units are like prime, supreme. Top tier. The cup of winning. say orcs are better. Do orcs have titans? I don't think they do. I don't think orcs have titans. Last time I checked. Oof. Looks like he's putting up a fight. Yeah, that's not going to be worth trying to work that one out. Maybe my man Stormcat, Thundercat can do it. Thundercat is gay. No, I don't think this is the hardest level now that it's going this well. It certainly was the hardest level up until this point. Oh, that blue is triggering me. Because I thought it belonged to blue. That's why I took this. 
but it's just there a little bit. Wait, what are you doing over here? You're supposed to go down. Oh well. Where's my dragons at? Still need four more pieces. No problem. Better not be some side objective quest where you have to pick up, you have to get all the dwarven artifacts. Because if there is, I'm going to be pissed. Because I won't be able to complete it because I already sold one of them. I guess I'll hold on to it just in case what I have. And maybe I can buy them back. I just got a feeling that maybe there's a mission in this level that does something like that. Nikolai. That's pretty good, actually. But is it as good as 10,000 gold? Levels are getting more complicated now, aren't they? Doing a lot with all of these units. No dragon, no dragon, no dragon, no dragon, no dragon, no dragon. This is BS. Probably good enough. Let's get this done. No dragon, no dragon, no dragon, no dragon, no dragon, no dragon. <sighs> See, ideally, in an ideal world to make this level even better, is you get the dragon set before the, you know, the month before the last month where it all kicks off 
so you could be building up free titans or cyclops. I assume cyclops would be better than mass titans. They'd be the best unit in the game, other than lava dragons. Maybe cyclops would even beat lava dragons, if you get into like stupid numbers, because of the bloodlust. Bears. Good job, Telsic. You've done well. Much like Les Grau. We can take those units away. You've become a fully fledged academy student. That's not a dragon item. There's a random chance, I guess, in treasure chest to get an item. Must be quite low. Unless it's fixed. Can you visit that once a month? I think there was nothing in there. Poor Blue is like... Doesn't even know what to do with himself. That's finished. I'll just get in a boat from here. Be quicker. And then I'll go straight down. And see if I can find the rest of Blue's stuff. I know the Blue's up here as well. But we can deal with him. With my hero that's over here shortly. I'll give it another couple of days. These bases are so close to being like almost maxed. Much like Joe Biden, I can taste it. It's my girlfriend. Just chilling. It's good to see her every now and then. These peasants look like they have a nice life. There's definitely a base nearby. There's a whirlpool. Because they normally have whirlpools near where bases are. Why you skipped the bow? Did I skip the bow? Perhaps you skipped the bow. In cave. Oh god, how did I not see that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I guess you could have think I was doing that just to annoy you guys. I don't know, I guess I'm blind. I think I'll leave those. Oh no. 
It's like that, is it? They're just going to straight up get up in my crib. Chain lightning, please. I thought these were actually going to cause a lot of damage, but I guess I'm quite tough now. I like that you can interact with this bar. That's really nice. Konyak has defeated the water elementals, remembering the strange old fisherman's words. He looks through the wreckage. He finds pieces of a strange metallic object that must be from the ruined sextant. That's the one that makes you go fast on the sea. But have you found that? Where is it? It's not in my inventory. You lie. I see nothing. Only darkness. I'm not worried about PvP for HOM 5. Takes long enough to play PvE. That might be another maxed base. I feel bad for these ones. They're the ones that like do damage, aren't they? They hit twice or something. Why would you ever play Heroes of Might Magic 3 when you can play Heroes of Might Magic 5? Ah, I still forgot to buy the uh, Finger Magic Ballista. It's alright. She'll survive. Looks like he just messed up like a dog. Feels guilty about it. Hmm. It looks like you're coming for me over there. What happened to this sextant that I was lied about?
Dragon. Dragon. I'll do the boots of speed swiftness thing now. I think for the sake of it, I'll just buy those and these, and I'll take them over soon to the other base to upgrade them, because I still don't think I've got enough to... do it all. Challenging. She might not even be able to do it. She's not even that strong. How do I get over here? Hmm. Pretty sus. For the sake of my OCD, it'd be nice if I could turn off this building structure here. So then it doesn't make it as if it seems like there's something to be built. Because I don't need it. I can't even use it. Oh, I've got instant travel. I wonder if I can get over there. Oh, sick. I'm a teleport and orc. Wait, put that on first. Get the experience and then... Right, will she lose? Eh, she wins, that's fine. Good enough. That'll do, pig. Make her go AFK for now. I'm gonna buy those units and bring those over. I could like buy these and just sell them. You want to buy the most expensive ones as well because I think you get more gold. I should be getting loads for that because I've got so many marketplaces. Get her a ballista. I'm just going to buy this because it's triggering me. Imagine being purchased just to be sold. If 
feels bad for them. I think we're good for a bit. I don't know where that human base is. It must be all the way down here or something. He does sometimes come up from under there. It could be all the way down there. It has to be. I mean, where else is it going to be now? Or if I don't get the level up, please. Yay! I still got that one spot left. It takes soldiers' luck. Who cares? Who cares what you do with it now? So I still have a spot left, actually. I mean, defense was something I was going to get, but I don't think I necessarily even need it now. Although it would be good versus the computer that comes up. We'll see. Might just take basic shout. Be done with it. Oh, that's alright, actually. Yeah, screw it. I'll give another chance to get something else. I just bought that other ring as well. This is better. Oh, they're at the top. I'm getting real close. I know that because in my first playthrough there was an island at the top here that had a cyclops. The guy with the boat was so close, and now he's so far. <laughs> Put the one stack. There, 130. Should be able to come through here. And he loses that one stack. And look who he is. Look where he is. Um, I'm in a good spot. It's about to get hot, but I'm in a good spot. Buy that. Can buy the shite. Let's sell those off. 
boop, boop. And then he can go down to here. This guy can finally trade off the good units. That's fine, I can't be bothered to split one goblin. You got that. I'm going to put that on you so I can forget about it and put something better in there eventually. And then you can go sell some of this rubbish. Oh, we're not really doing the lion stuff. I don't know, that can go there. That is better there. Don't need that anymore. Because you've got the dragon set. Well, he's trying to do the dragon set. Technically, you could have that instead of the dragon item, but it's fine. And you come down to here. Right? Not that way. This way, please. There's an island over here. You can save this stuff for later, but I'll just do it since I'm close. Seems to think this is the place to be. If it is, then it's too easy. It's right there. But I don't want to do it. There's blue. So blue is at the bottom. I don't think I can cheese this. I can. Okay. It's pretty good girl. You have found the Cup of Thunder, but it's guided by Powerful Art. That was too easy. So you just get the Cup of Thunder from here. I'll do it later, then. Just to be on the safe side, I'll go back on that quick save. So I didn't, like, trigger and then, like, cancel it. Alright, speaking of which... I'll show you the start of this level cinematic, because it looks like we're in a good spot, so you can at least see that as well. Hunt freedom. We seek land to have children, to live alone. This land is rich. Fish, game, water. A new land, the Orcs land. No force in Ashan can make us leave. Boss Cognac! Goblin scared! Knights swore to find us! Swore to kill us! Knights not stop! Cold said, Knights will be slow. There are many islands. Orcs and goblins have time to dig in. To grow strong. Knights find us! Bring chains! Beats brought us to dogs! Play dice with bones! Back to mines! Back to fields! If children of the Dragon Gods come to stop us, children of the Dragon Gods die. Or orcs die. But orcs will never be slaves again. You hear? Never! Get Batu. I need his wisdom. Many bad omens are on the sea. Sea full of sails and steel and sorrow. Many signs. 
Many omens lead orcs here. Some are good, some bad. But good or bad, the orcs stop here. Here, orcs will build houses or dig graves. Look, spirits of the sea come. They speak to Batu. Say they are friends. Orcs live in peace with land and sea, but the steel men come with blood and fire in their hearts. Tell spirits we thank them. Orcs don't forget friends. But orcs Didn't I kill those need spirits? more than kind words against the knights. Spirits speak again. They say here in the islands is an object of great power. It is a cup that calls down the wind of Father Sky and raises up the waves. Thank the spirit. Batu's omens will save the orcs again. I, Kunyak, will find this cup, then call up the waves and wind. Orcs will throw the knights back to their falcon empire. There's a happy chappy. There's one more cinematic, of course, that I skipped earlier. You can see this one. Shaman stuck underground. Stinky, ghosty creatures. Kunyak go down? Free Shaman? <laughs> Even strange little goblins are part of orc people. Kunyak will help. There you go. So we're all up to snuff now. We're all up to scratch. Caught, caught up. I did actually like Songs of Conquest. I thought this was actually quite a well made map. Uh, game, sorry. I do have my bias towards Heroes of Might Magic, though, I've got to say. And the combat isn't quite the same as Heroes of Might Magic, which is a shame. But obviously they're trying to do their own thing, that's fair enough. Just been a little bit preoccupied with too many things right now. So I stick to what I'm familiar and comfortable with for the time being. Okay, you got like uh, a week, basically, and a few days, and then it's going to kick off big time. So what I might do is actually just, to save myself some time, put myself in position with the strongest army I can possibly have, so I can kill them all at the same time, hopefully. There's a cartographer, which is probably worth visiting, and there's another one actually that can show you the whole sea, so that would save me some time too. This guy reminds me of the bad guy from Waterworld. Dennis Hopper, I think, played that character. I'll still hold on to it just in case there's some weird funky quest. I don't think there will be. And why do I even care? It's not going to be that important. Like, only my OCD. <laughs> Thank you, Monkey. For the uh, sub. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Welcome. Get those green wyverns. Yes. Get those on board. Can pretty much afford to buy most things now. Look at the amount of Cyclops. And these are all going to go on my main hero soon. I'm just bringing them over to each place to stack them up. I'll probably just sell those again. I don't care about those. They're just kind of like another unit you've got to move around that you don't actually care about. You can start making some goblins now. That's okay. It's just the warriors I don't care about. It's not like they're even terrible units. It's just 
don't really do anything. At least not enough to get me excited, so... Green snappers. I think my hero is so strong now. 24, 11, 15, 10. Even though the odds of like 45 of them, I think he can still fight without too much trouble. I can't believe the Cup of Thunder's over here though. I guess it's because it's the furthest away from the computer, so at least it gives the player the chance to sort of beat the level in case they're really struggling. There's still a way to get out of it that you don't have to sort of go through enemy territory. But I feel like it should probably be more like it's over here or something. So you've got to go somewhat through the computer. Just seems too close if it's there. Well, that's the problem with Tear for Ossia because the um, artifact's in a random spot, but some people can, like, get it in the first week and get it right next to them. Although you still have to go through all the obstacles to actually access it, I think. I'm not sure. Unless you can just randomly dig and hope that it still spawns. You may as well just go elsewhere. pick up her unit soon. Yeah, I might just take... Ah! I know that. That red tent. Okay, I can come back and do that. There's a red tent. Was it? There it is. I remember seeing a red tent on the right hand side. Definitely don't really care about those. Four thousand gold. There's all the information. Look at that. Ah, that's a dragon. There's blue. So blue only gets one base. It's orange that gets two. So taking orange out actually gives you two bases quite quickly. It's another dwarven thing. There's the memory mentor. I can actually town portal, which would probably be quicker. And I can get all the uh, powers as well. Dragon sword? I'm not sure about any dragon sword. I think this is the most hero sort of maneuvering I've done in a, a long time for any heroes in my magic map. I can play it, I just prefer to sort of really concentrate on one hero. I still am kind of concentrating on one hero. There's a lot of jiggery pokery going on. Uh, I wanted to go here, but okay. Feels like that's a waste otherwise. Thank you. Actually, he may as well just wait. Because I'm going to bring my hero. I could create this stuff. There's no dragon items there, though, so who cares? There is enlightenment. There's too many uh, boats. He actually can't land. You can't destroy boats, can you? I don't think there's an option to get rid of boats. That's funny. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm trying to take one of the boats away from there. Doesn't seem to be working. What a nuisance. Buy no, because he still can't move out of the way quick enough. That's so clunky. Just be waiting here then, because we've got to get moving soon. Blue still light floating around aimlessly. That's the first time I've seen that come up, actually, on anything. Let's hope it's not a week of the plague. Okay, doesn't look like it. More centaurs for everyone. Crazy, or is there not a space for warmongers here? But I can't see a double of any units. So what am I missing? Shaman. Ah, right, thank you. I couldn't spot it for some reason. I'm not used to those shaman. Technically, it would be nice to come here and get, like, the spell power buff, but you only get, like, a few turns with your heroes, and at the end of the day, you're going to use one of your abilities, and the Fear Dragon is quite good. He's got a good one. The other one that's good is the one that does damage based on the power of your army, and when you've got a stupidly powerful army, that's really good. So now we can trade. This way. Put that all over. Look at this toasty army. That's looking a bit better. And then what he can do is he can come over here. If someone's quick enough to buy all of the stuff here. We 
goes like that. Summons a vessel. Gets in sea vessel. And then he comes over here. Trades. Takes all of his stuff. Oh, I didn't upgrade that. Oh, well, whatever. Uh, didn't, I don't know if I got the upgrades for those. Then. I'm not going to worry too much. I'm not going to redo it just for that. And you need one stack of these, at least. Well, he's buying all the wrong units. That's why it's kind of scuffed, but I've got that one scuffed. And then you should go through here, and then this will take you to the top right. Use up that one. And you float down over to here and get the York units from over here. Oh yeah, and buy this. That's the boat one. There you go. Now the whole map is like super clear. We've got the red key, yeah. So she can get in the boat, come back to this point. So we're basically like rallying everything. The only thing I haven't rallied is units from this one. But I might not be able to afford that anyway. That's down the bottom. I don't know if I have a map of the underground. I do. Sha. Sure. Maybe. I think there's one more spot underground that I haven't visited. I don't know, actually. There's that one, for sure. There's this one over here. There's, like, one on the left. So maybe that is it. There's only a few spots. Yeah. Big, big, big army. So this is another, like, island where the Cup of Thunder could potentially be. Any place where these treasure chests are, supposedly. I don't think we... Oh, it is the dragon item. But the dragon items, I still haven't got like the full set, so it doesn't matter. How many have I got? I got five out of eight. Actually, I got six out of eight. I'll have seven out of eight with that wing. Might come over here and try to clear it, but it doesn't give me enough time to get down to kill the computer. I think I want to get down to kill the computer, and then I can come back. So I don't think I've got that luxury of getting the set. The sword is missing. You're right. There's loads of artifact merchants and stuff, but I never saw the sword. And you can't get it until the start of the next month. But I want to be here, basically, because this is where they spawn. I'm not sure that blue guy's done anything in like the last three weeks other than sail around. Agish. <coughs> Would it be better to not go where they spawn? No. No. There's still heroes left to buy. Goes to show you how many heroes I used in the first one. And they all died. Have some... Orc 
six. Take them. Uh, I don't need them. So I still never got that sextant. And this base, I only just spot this now because of the cartographer, and that's mentioned earlier in regards to there being another base. I don't think I've got time to go collect this though. Certainly doable, but I've got to get down here, and it's going to take me just about the right amount of time. So we've already got a character up here, so you can go there. So, shut your face. You can get back in a boat. I don't know what you're doing. You're belonging over here, so you come back over here. And you just come in here and chill. Even though you've got some units that could be passed over, it's not worth the hassle. And that's it. That'll do it, pig. That'll do it. I wonder if I've got enough time to go kill Blue as part of a detour. Just flee. No, he won't, because I've got shackles. Shame the dark magic stuff doesn't work. Pretty soon it'll be morbid time. It's weird though, because you do technically defeat her, but in this level, and I think it's really only this one alone that I can think of. Even if you defeat them, they just come back. There's like no real punishment other than them losing their items and stuff. Look at this. Look how close I am to maxing out all the bases as well. How nice does that look? It's total satisfaction, that is. I think one more turn and then it's maxed. Oh, that's a thing of beauty, that is. That is a thing of beauty. Oh, it's this thing. Crystal Silver. There it is. Oh, complete, 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 complete. That's how it's done. Let's see what happens though, we've got to save here. I think I can relax more next level. They basically spawn right here, so this should be funny. They might just insta-give me. <laughs> there they are! Okay. We can technically go a bit lower, actually. So I can do them one after the other. I didn't want them sort of... I was worried they're going to like... If they, if you went exactly where one of those is supposed to spawn, that would probably just crash the level, I imagine. Let's find out. Okay, so they like they spawn there. And then they move up. I didn't mean to save that. We've always got to find these things out. Just because of sheer weird curiosity. Is it me or does it look like you get more fission? Because I can't go as low. Doesn't feel like I can go as low. Anyway. Save it there and see what they do. Yeah, I might have to move again. Huh? 
Okay, that's cool. So it doesn't crash, it just instantly triggers the combat. <laughs> okay. Look at their armies, and this is just one of them. That's when I realized, when I was doing my first playthrough, that I was just about sort of staying alive versus the computer that I was already fighting. And then, like, it spawns, like, a bunch of these. It's like, what? In fact, they're actually still strong. That's a level 23 hero. I could might maybe still lose this. It's crazy, isn't it? Like, this doesn't feel like I'm going to come out of this without losing too much. If only these could move a bit faster. True. You can get the goblins because I got them for her, but they're gonna they can move over to here and then he can chuck. Well, that's a nice clean shot, though. My goodness. Imagine killing 484. My goodness. I've not even got all the best items on. I've got those boots of swiftness. I think just take the snap. Luck paying off there. This will be some nice experience. I've also got my ballista to have a turn. And we've got chain lightning. Actually came back on me, strangely. <laughs> I haven't even got to cast a spell yet. Horde's Anger, that's the one, isn't it? It does damage based on... It's pretty good. Although it's still not doing that much damage, but... Let's take it. Maybe not necessary. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Heal 1 or 11. Ganon. Not bad. But there's still tons more to fight. Maeve. Fittorio. Oh, it might have bugged, actually. Because it's trying to give the trigger to that ship to move forward. But it can't move forward because it's not, not even there. So I did manage to crash it. Okay. So I've got to do that again. I can't even press this. I think that's an old F4 job, that is. I win. You know I have over 100 hours now in this game. I've got to wait for this bloody thing to sink now. And it takes ages if you've got a lot of saves, because the Heroes of Might Magic 5 saves get quite large. Didn't I have this problem like a f couple of months ago or something with one of the maps? It's not even doing it. Oh, there we go. That's on you, Baconia. Baconia. That's on you. This is a scenario. Try to the East scenario. Quality content at its best. To be fair, for this fight, you could rebuild. The ballista doesn't seem that necessary anymore. 
and you get the elation and the retribution. And if you want blood fire, but it does backfire sometimes, blood fire, but it'd be a lot of hero levels as well. I don't think they cast that many spells. I still quite like defense, actually. Not even that against it. You don't even really need this anymore because you're just fighting the computer. So you could go back a few sayers or just escape, come over to the memory mentor and build that and then go kill the computers. But the downside of leaving them is the fact that you got to go pick them all off and they go in different... Di I imagine they probably go in different directions and stuff. Let's just see. I imagine I can probably kill them all. This might cost me all of my units, but that's that's fine if it does, because that's all I need. Right, let's go to the quick save. Let's come over here a bit more sensibly. Okay, I get to have my turn. I don't get to do quick combat though, unfortunately. So I've got to manually fight each and every single one of these by the looks of it, which is a bit tedious. Showing one of them off is fine, but doing every single one is a bit much. I don't even think the chain lightning is that necessary. Slow might be better. Just stopping them from having a turn. Centaurs killed those last time. Oh, that slow was very useful. I don't know. Last time I killed these, though. So, I don't know. Then I don't know that. Angels are going to have my butt. They're going to make me pay for that. Please, no angels. Get hit by the trap. Please. Oh. The horde is angry. Poor Wyvern's taking all the damage. Even lost. You can only heal up to 100 at a time, can't you? It's kind of a shame. Man, my Wyvern's getting wrecked this time. Obviously, the change of uh, the fight pattern that I did is not paying off. That was much worse. Ugh. Every single one of them. Can I just speed run this? If I auto combat this, I'm going to lose so much though, aren't I? Could have used fear, my rule. Yeah, could have. Could have done a lot of things. I think it puts them in the same position, so that's good. This one... Up he goes. I'll do better. You need to do better. Sky. 
I'm not taking any damage so far this turn, so... Wyverns are kind of there to get hurt sometimes, do you know what I mean? They're a bit gangly, those units. A bit goofy. Jesus Christ. That was a bit much. See you later, Sentinels. Should have moved those, I guess. Alright, I'm having ideas. I'm thinking for this fight, the Sentinels not... Uh, oops. What I was basically explaining earlier. Let's come over and see the memory mentor. Items, of course, yes. Yes, right away. Stranger Meat Dragon. I got six out of eight, so that's going to be nice. You wouldn't change much else. The main thing is getting the right abilities with memory mental and not doing that it's going to be a bit of a headache though cleaning blue up because he's just going to spaz out and go all over the place I'm not looking forward to that part although if I can get quick combat I think he's going to manually combat every time if I could get quick combat when they're not in the boats then that would save me some time Can buy another set of units and head up to the memory mentor to Boogaloo. I mean, that is something else, though. When that happened for the first time, you look at that and you're just like, "What? How am I supposed to beat that? It doesn't make sense. Like, why is this, what is this level? It doesn't make any sense." You're not technically supposed to beat them. Although you can. Time to stack up even more units. More power. More. Okay, so this is the next base. Proceeding. Oh look, they're starting to transfer units and stuff. That's also dangerous. Low. The computer is like being picked last in like uh, sports or something to be on the team. Computers deciding which ones are not worthy. I could keep these, I suppose, at this point. Because I don't think I even need the money. Other than buying Titans. This is kind of what I didn't want, though. Is the blue computer just splitting off all over the map? I didn't quite mean to land, actually. Just get close enough that I can get the, uh, the goodies.
I might be able to beat the Mega Army because my hero is very powerful too. And with Fear Dragon and stuff like that. Some like the right spec, you know. I think it's quite doable. So I'm not threatened from blue anymore. Just gotta deal with him and then I can crack on. If I did land here I could get the dragon. And then there's only one other piece. Oh man, if there's the sword. Could you imagine? Oh, if there's a sword. All seeing crown, beginners, windstriders boots. The boots are actually quite helpful for reaching the computer. I'm almost tempted to get those. Wait, these haven't changed much, have they? But it's a new month. They should have changed. These look kind of the same. You got one artifact over there, and there's another artifact over here. And I think that's it. Maybe I'll do that red spot. This is why I wanted to start this level earlier. <laughs> that uses up all of my monies. I could put this guy in the boat, but I'll keep Telson because I quite like him. Oh, uh, why did I not upgrade this? What is wrong with you? Ruined. I can still save it though. Oh. Oh my. Oh, it's going to be such a headache dealing with all of that. No, no sword. Oh, gosh darn, it's so hard to build that item set. I mean, to get eight items is pretty crazy. So difficult. See these join? They do. No, they don't. Oh! Now that's a bit better. See, that's what you could be doing. Join me, brothers. Items in the mage towns. I did check those and there wasn't anything, but I'll double check. Nope. Nope. Sad. Sad. And one item away.
What if the computer got the cup of thunder and then beat you? They just go straight over and get the cup of thunder. You've been defeated. I'll just lose half the goblin stacks. It'll get me over there quicker. I've got this guy in my tail. I might be able to make it. I'll see if I can make it. It's me. I'm here to collect. build the titans actually and then send those off to take blue's base at the bottom or just be nah just keep them just in case blue tries to fight me in the mage bases that's fine Seven out of eight. Shock rush. Was there significantly more units as well, though? It's got to be one of the longest levels I think I've ever done as well. It's way up there. Now, I gotta go around. This looks. He looks like he got a lot of good stuff given to him. Dougal. Alright. Dougal. So the only thing they didn't quite get right is they didn't include the move all the units over. Otherwise, here's a Might Magic Fire's got some really good features for like functioning with units. Alright, let's get to going. I was going to do Memory Mentor, I suppose, but I can kill this guy if he's here. 
if I don't lose too much. But yeah, Merry Mentor would be lovely for the rest of them. I'm not sure if Memory Mentor leaves me with uh, any space. Oh yeah, 75 angels and 30 angels. This guy got the mother load. They really went all in on this guy. So we've got to keep fearing the angels at the top. Probably slow the cavaliers so they don't charge. I reckon I can take him. I think you underestimate the power of the horde. He didn't get slowed by the trap. The trap. The goblins suck. They let me down. I lost a whole bunch of wyverns because the goblins sucked. What's the point of that trap if it ain't gonna bloody work? Like Wyverns. You were good for a while, but unfortunately your time has come. It might be time to start attacking, but the payback will be so sore. Get haste instead. I got a good hit here, maybe. I can clean those quite nicely. I could use the warriors because they suck. I yeah, don't need to. Oh. It is a lot to lose, but then, I mean, how many forces can he have left if he's, like, got this much over here? He can't have much. He's, like, massively stacked. Those are a problem. Because I can't stop those. I could put these and push those here so that angels can't land. Because he wasn't supposed to have that. Fear my rule. Thank you very much. I'm gonna smack my units no matter what I do. Feels bad. guys need to get out of the way. This is all well and dandy as long as the computer has like bugger all else after this. But if he still has a lot of forces it's not so good to lose this much.
the light saturation's got too strong. That again. For a little bit of light. Goblin. Would I recommend Home 3 or 5 to play first? I haven't never played a Home game. Home 3 would be the better one. But uh, I think Home 2 is... If you can stand the cartoony graphics, I think Home 2 is a really good introduction. Home 2 sets you up for Heroes of Might Magic 3. May as well get Light Magic, I guess. Don't have much of a choice. Right. Who else we got? So he's rubbish. That one's more tough. So we can come over here. And then town. Maybe time portal. I may not not even bother doing memory mentor. I could do memory mentor to get like a much stronger sort of use out of my army, but who cares? I've already got like good abilities set up and all of that on this character. That's fine. I don't think we're gonna faff about it too much. Okay. Oh, actually, you just come out. You're useless. Sorry, buddy. Ah. Buy pit laws and sell them. Eh, I, I mean, we don't need to be that pedantic. We can just... I'll just concentrate on finishing the level now. Am I going to make it? Or is he going to just get away from me? Oh, yeah. Wow. Restart turn and take the flag. Oh, Tarkham. Yeah. Paying more attention than I am. I'm sort of in, like, finish off mode. I'm not paying enough attention. Okay, it's going to make you manually fight, but at least it's not always on a boat. I'm just going to charge in, who cares? Freaking come at me. The closest you get to dark magic. Fear my rule. Very satisfying the orc units though when they're hitting and you got a good chunk of them. Because look at that damage. It really feels like they're packing a punch. Quicker turns on my Cyclops. I'm doing all right. I'm on the finishing touches of this level, basically. And then we'll just finish it off. I'll just show off the map. I don't think I'm going to go around collecting everything. Because <laughs> I've been on this level long enough. Sometimes I feel like compelled to do that. But because we got a cartographer, we can show the map off. That's part of the reason why I do that. It's because I want to show you like everything that the map kind of has. But you can literally see everything the map has. I can just... Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm going to have to do that again. 
Because I'm too... Not paying attention. Gosh, that's painful. Oh, wait. Yes, that is painful. Home 6 at some point, but I said if I was going to do another home, it would be home 2, actually. items here. Don't forget to move them. I may as well put the Windrunner speeds are actually that's a really good item. Like that is a severely good item. I still get the uh, set piece if I have five pieces I think. So I don't think I need that. Five, seven, twenty. Five, seven, twenty. So it says Oh that's plus four. Whereas it's plus one otherwise. Plus four is pretty good. To everything. Although the only thing that really matters is attack, but it's pretty good. I don't think you even really need to have the shackles anymore. Because I don't think the computer is going to flee. If they do, f well, I better not, just in case. Because I've got the bases. If they didn't have the bases, they wouldn't be able to flee to anything. Okay. It is a good map, but it's also a brutally painful map. You have to, like... It became very tolerable for me uh, a while ago, once I got the build going. And it didn't take too long to get the build going. But it was night and day difference between my first experience. Which is agonizing. Well. These griffins got a rough deal. Well, this definitely went better. I just let my Cyclops do everything. If yeah, they weren't so gosh darn slow. I've already got haste in them, I'm gonna cast it again. Hurry up. I'm gonna wait with these so I can hit the Minotaurs again with uh, another turn. Yeah, I used to only use the um, other Titan uh, Cyclops for a long time, didn't I? But I really like these untamed ones. More satisfying. The other ones don't feel like they actually do anything too special. They're just kind of bigger and stronger, maybe, for ranged. But... Save. You can't tell me what to do. I've got to come over here for this now. And do this. Boom! Uh, ten Toitons. That's uh, going to deal with Irina. Which one's got the movement speed? One of them's got movement speed. It's not her. Tracker. There it is. Urghat. She's the one for me. She's a special girl. 5,000 gold. 
It's not cheap though, is she? She's expensive. I think we've got this. Shouldn't have put all of your eggs in one basket, should you? I'm going to go collect some more. Actually, no, I've used up all my gold. I might send her off to go... Mm, that's still deadly, though. In fact, she might get killed. She might be able to reach me. So, we'll find out if she can reach me. Hey, Witty. Can you tell me how much... How a donation on Twitch works. I was wondering if it's possible to get you to play Farmer vs. Hunters in War 3. Well, all you need to do is just click on the thing that says tip or donate. And then put in the price amount, which will be £13.37. And then uh, give a link to the map with a small description saying hello. And I'd like you to play this map. And then uh, that'll pretty much do it. I'll set it up for us some point. If you have a specific request, like you really want to be in it or something, you have to let me know that. Otherwise, it will be a case of I will play the linked map at some point when we get the time to do it. Do I go over to the right-hand side, start cleaning that up? Computer's actually really not so bad. It's easy, actually, to let the computer split. I mean, it's easier because I'm strong. If I didn't have the strength that I did, then those fighting against like 110 plus angels and 250 knights and 850 crossbowmen probably wouldn't have gone so well for me, but because I'm so strong, I'm not even doing the memory mental. Screw it. Too much effort, too much time to take. Who's got time for that? It's a shame there's not more lighthouses on this level that kind of let you build up movement speed on the sea. <sighs> what the hell? Why is this one so dark? That one looks really dark for some reason. Well, maybe it's just because this one's so colorful. Did I get all the quest chests? Uh, I haven't taken anything so far. In regards to that. Trying to use the orc forces against me. So you can differentiate allied from enemy one. I don't know what you mean by that. Oh, okay. The color, right. Ugh. One shy. It's a cruel world. That's a good turn. Yeah, I think it's actually easier just letting the computer faff about. Kind of. If I didn't have to manually combat every single one at the bottom, it wouldn't be so bad. Well, there goes Elaine again. See you soon, Elaine. Don't even want this stuff. I just killed him because I can. Oh well, that's good enough. There's still that one tree that I didn't take somewhere. I think that one. No. It's... I don't know. Not important though.
Look at that gold. Holy smack. That's a lot of gold. Betraying my orc brethren. Just clicked it because it was closer. I know the worst part about all of this is there's an orc base that needs building up again now. My OCD, my immersion. No, you can get stupidly big armies. You can do that a lot in Heroes of Might Magic 2 as well. Pretty sure, yeah, there was nothing in that one. I'm just gonna loop around the Cyclops. Don't mind me. Yeah. Okay. Ah, there's the tree. Huh. Corrupt the lights. Fire resistance. Okay, that's probably the last super strong one. Unless there's one over here, but I think that's not the case. Because I think she's taking everything from down there. I'm sending Titan Girl to uh, investigate the bottom side. Whilst my hero cleans up the mid. Come here. Get over here. You know, the best thing about getting rid of orange, actually, is it does... I know I've been on this level a long time. That's because I wanted to. Well, kind of. I made that choice. It does actually give you quicker turns, because orange... Blue takes a while, but orange takes ages. Okay. See you in that base, I guess. All right, let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. So we got gear plans. Shim in there. Not there. Oh, that is nothing. A mortar combo in this one. I'm too lazy. You got nothing. Laughable at this stage now, after what I thought. As laughable as those wyverns. Yeah, home 5.5 is supposed to make it much quicker, which I think it does to a degree. I'm just trying not to use any mods, because crashing was an issue beforehand. Crashing could have been an issue because of that malware bites, though, because you know my all oh, is going to auto combat and kill all my units. Um... Could have been an issue because of my computer. You know, I had loads of issues with my computer. There we go. That looks good. Pop in there and say hello. Okay. I just want to make manual control so you didn't, like, go too crazy. Oh, man. They got a taste of their own medicine. But, yeah, on my old computer, HOM 5.5 would crash. Not so much old computer, old SSD, because malware bytes had sort of like caused a lot of issues. At least we definitely suspect it was malware bytes. Like programs weren't running properly. GOG, Steam, I'll oh, see you later. Um, GOG, Steam, 
that on there. Not just that, like Warcraft Reviewer, all sorts of things that I use, just generally speaking, just stop working properly and crashing and breaking all the time. It's... Oh. Okay. He's a simple man, isn't he? There you go. Wait. Find the cup of thunder. I didn't find the cup of thunder. Oh, it finishes the level if you do that. Ah. So you don't really have a choice. Because I think that was mentioned yesterday. Look at those score. Getting the quest artifact speeds up this map. It's just going to be the same thing, isn't it? Oh gosh. Wait, that was the last fight, wasn't it? No, that wasn't. No, yeah, that's right. The last fight was this one. So you got that island, you got that island, and you've got... Which island? There's a third one. Oh, it must be this one. As you finish, I can spoil that. Getting it destroys all blue ships. Yes, I, I know that. Because that was mentioned to me as well. So, you know, basically both are a win condition. And that's how you sort of beat the computer. It makes sense, right? Like I, I, But I took it really personally. I saw it from the point of view that I have to brute force it. I don't want to play by the specific rules of the map. You know? Pen of Mastery, by the way. Maybe that's why they thought that was special. 30 attack. I wanted to sort of defeat the computer manually. Like, with my armies, with my units. But really, the game does give you an option. Like, you get a lot of pressure from the computer. So it's very hard to actually get strong. Unless you do the build that I did. The first time round, it was very hard to get in a position where you could come out of and fight those and get the Cup of Thunder. There's the Haven base. Ooh. It's man. Okay. I'm going to try... Each of the bases, each of the uh, finger magics, and then we'll get the last cup of thunder. The blue chest also gives a ton of experience. Right, right, right. I'll have to, I'll have a check. This is what I mean. We're gonna have a little look now, have a little sneaky peek. Why have I got to manually combat everything? That wings of speed is very good. I said it before, but it really is. It makes the difference between him being out of reach or just be one shy. So it gives you like a free... You get an attack. Full attack. Orc strong. He really should have moved out of the way, actually. Like here. Or just make way for the Titan, or the Cyclops. Did I block the Cyclops from moving? I should have moved one more bow. bow. Yes, I did. That was bad. Rawr. What you do? Look what you do. He still can't take his turn. All of this for a drop of blood. Do 
Ah, uh, he still has not got enough movement speed. He only got six movement speed, and that's with the buff. That's with the movement speed buff. They really do need the movement speed, don't they? They're just like invincible now, though. That's 15,000 damage or something stupid. Oh. He just says, why can't spirit be more help? So it's basically letting you know that you're in the wrong place. I don't seem to get much experience on those. Saying it now. It's trolling me. Okay. Well, I don't need to do the other island because you get the idea. That's what happens if you go to an island that's like the wrong one. So we'll just go to the island that's the right one. You think I can dragon item? Stranger meet dragon, 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 dragon. Maybe you can drag in your dragon. Oh no. Don't do it. I actually kind of need to lose. Because if I kill that computer then... Well, you know what happens. Right. Dragon set. Isn't it like a unit every day though? Something stupid. Right. I'll just check the wizards. I can't be bothered checking all the artifact mentions. Nope. No dragon sword. No dragon sword. It might still be there in one of the artifact merchants, but... Oh, it's, what are you doing? You think you're going to take me with that army? It's got nothing. You're a joke. You're a joke. Fear my roar. What is it? Sell the units from the town. What? So I can get... I've got 303,000 gold. Right, before I go on this island, I'll just show you the rest. So, you get to see everything. We can confirm there's nothing else that I've really missed. There's those happy peasants. I'm kind of like, kind of glad I left them alone. Let them enjoy themselves. No. I got the artifact just by stepping onto the island, basically. Well, it says, yeah, it's, you've got to go through the chest, I think, to get it. But I was in, like, the right place really early. There's quite a lot. It is actually a good map, but it's just like, oof. It can either be incredibly painful, when it really was. It's one of those maps that I regard as painful. Not this time around, though. But certainly I was... It, it, it has that uncomfortable feeling of... I'm just... Maybe I'm not even going to be able to beat it. With like so many hours. Why can't spirits be more helpful? Ah, there you go. You found a cup of thunder. Why can't spirits be more helpful? Why can't spirits be more helpful? That's a good question. Why can't spirits be more helpful? I only need one thing. It's this big guy. 
You're a big guy. If I take that mask off, will you die? You're a big guy. Oh, I thought that was wrong If I take that mask off, will you die? That would be extremely painful. You're a big guy. Who are you? <laughs> it doesn't matter who we are. What matters is our plan. These are so fiery, I can't tell exactly how many I'm hitting. I think I can only hit two. Maybe that hits all of them. Three? Upon the Falcon Knights! Well, it doesn't basically get rid of the computer if they're inside of a base. So now you've got that answer. I thought that actually might just kill the computer. Regardless of where they are. But no dice. So I'm going to have to come over. I know I could just load the save where I want, but... May as well just finish this up now, and then I can go get myself some pizza and stuff, and then do some morbing. If you've enjoyed this, please do make sure to thumbs up the video if you're watching this on YouTube, and share the video if you think others will also enjoy this Heroes of Might Magic gameplay. There's one more level to go after this, and I'm excited to play it, coming up soon. You can find me on Twitter, at Witty Warcraft, and I've got two YouTube channels, Witty Warcraft and Witty One. So check them out, if you like them, then follow, subscribe, and uh, that all helps a lot. I should always say that stuff way earlier in the video, but it is what it is. Sometimes, like I say, with levels like this, you don't even know if you're actually going to... Look at the size of those missiles. You're even going to finish. Those goblins, like, taking on the angels. Chieftains know what not. They just give the Cyclops their turn. Let's just patiently wait outside the door. smash this down. There's not even a door. She's just blocking the whole way. Cyclops is like a in this, they're like a double whammy. They're like a behemoth. A beast. And the uh, old school Cyclops. With the lasers, potentially. Because in Heroes of Might Magic 2, they look very humanoid. They're like very tall, big humans. Do it 
get this so I can take everyone out. Very far. There it is. Do that again. <laughs> Knights will stay away now. These islands are orc islands. Here, orcs live, raise young, die. Now, orcs choose orc fights. Orcs choose orc enemies. Orcs choose orc fate. Ah. There it is. Right. That one last level. Well, I say last. There's potentially more. But so far, at least in the base version of Trials of the East, um, we got the Days of Fire, which is an elf campaign. So, interested to check that out? It's basically Tiru before he became who he was. So this is Tiru in his young prime. So, thanks very much for watching again, and have a good one.